Dayton, Wisconsin. Together we can save lives. Rural Mutual Insurance Company. Premiums paid here, stay here to keep Wisconsin strong. A proud sponsor of the WIAA Rural Mutual Sportsmanship Award for over 50 years. And we act. We teach. We inspire. Blower noises, pops, or rattles coming from your furnace? Call Fowler for a free estimate and next day installation on a quality furnace that's quiet, saves you money, and backed by a five-year guarantee. Call Fowler Heating and Air today. Cooler heat, Fowler can't be beat. You've probably heard by now, but Wanakee Remodeling has been transforming homes for the better part of half a century by installing materials that stand the test of time from a team of trusted home pros. Our design team delivers a turnkey experience for your interior or exterior remodeling project, leaving you with a home you love. At Wanakee Remodeling, we'll never stop improving. Right now, get a special window offer. Buy one window, get one 40% off plus special financing. Visit WanakeeRemodeling.com for more. Feels good to win? Get in on the action at WisconsinSurplus.com. Bid on any number of new auction items. With new auctions added weekly, the winning never stops. Wisconsin Surplus Online Auction. Great deals, unexpected. It's tire season. At D-Car in Wanakee, all tires purchased come with free lifetime rotation, road hazard, and alignment check. David's Certified Auto Repairs, your full auto repair facility. Winter is coming. Call or schedule your appointment online with D-Car and be driving on new tires tomorrow. At Lawton Cates, we provide compassion and guidance after a serious accident. From the first phone call, we're by your side. We know how much is at stake, and we're dedicated to ensuring you can heal and move forward. Your life counts. Lawton Cates. Looking for a unique banquet venue for all of your special events? Rex's Innkeeper in Wanakee can accommodate lunch and dinner banquets from 30 to 300 with all audio video equipment and large screen included. Rex's Innkeeper, that old-fashioned supper club vibe. This holiday season, Blaine's Farm and Fleet is where wishes come true for everyone, especially during our pre-Black Friday sale. Start saving early with Black Friday-like deals throughout the store. Like over 70% off this Rubbermaid food storage set, just $9.99. 40-pound bags of Blaine's Wild Bird Food, sale priced at $15.99. And save $100 on this DeWalt two-tool combo kit. Plus, rewards members are invited to save an extra 10% in store during Blaine's Farm and Fleet's private shopping night. This Sunday only, starting at 6 p.m. Livable Communities by Don Tierney would like to congratulate all high school football teams that made it to state. Whether you're looking for country estates, top-notch park amenities, natural views, or a community right in town, you're sure to find the perfect fit with Livable Communities by Don Tierney. Blower noises, pops, or rattles coming from your furnace? Call Fowler for a free estimate and next day installation on a quality furnace that's quiet, saves you money, and backed by a five-year guarantee. Call Fowler Heating and Air today. Cooler heat, Fowler can't be beat. It is time to write another chapter of Wisconsin high school state history. And this one we're going to do the Division II football state championship. Wanakee and Badger, a pair of unbeatens here at Camp Randall Stadium. As we continue in this WIAA football championship series, I'm Brad Hansen. Welcome to the broadcast. We have awarded five gold balls. We have two left to go today. We've had some great football. Looking forward to some more to set the table for this one. We'll send it up to Bob and Bill. Brad, thanks very much. Bill, I'm impressed with two things in this Division II matchup. One, the fact that it's two unbeatens. They have really survived a tough road to get here to play for a state championship. And two, these are two coaches and two teams who know how to execute the perfect game plan. Well, execution has been the key to their success. But we got a contrast, too. Badger's here for the first time. Wanakee's been here 12 times. Pat Rice throws, plays a spread offense. Then Johnson runs it. He's been your prototypical Wanakee quarterback in both run and throw. Ben Lindley's an all-state running back. They play really good defense. And Johnson and Lindley benefit from a line that's both big and smart. J.P. Doyle executes the option to perfection. Landon not a set run for over 1,400 yards. Badgers, not the biggest team in the world, but they've certainly beat some of the big boys, including Sun Prairie East in the semis last week, to get here. For more, before we kick this one off, we send it down to the sidelines. And Carly Marotta. Yeah, hey, 
guys, Badger head coach Matt Hensler. He actually suffered a heart attack two weeks ago in the level three game against Kettle Moraine. He left with shortness of breath, went to the hospital. He was released on Monday. In the following week's game in the semifinal match against Sun Prairie East, Coach Hensler coached from the booth. Now heading into the Division II state championship game, it was a game time decision whether he would coach from the sidelines or the booth. He is coaching from the sidelines. He just walked out here, gave a fist pump to the fans with a big round of applause as Badger looks to make history today. Thank you, Carly. Hard to keep that man off of the football field. Thumbs up, fist pump, ready to go. First ever trip to state for Hensler and the Badger Badgers. Pat Rice in our Menards Keys to the Game. Brought to you by Menards. Save big money at Menards on all your home improvement needs, Bill. Well, Badgers on. They're going to control the ball. That's what that wishbone offense does. They want to keep it away from Wanakee, which has been very proficient offensively, averaging 47 points a game. And Wanakee's got to figure out a way to, to keep Doyle under control. He, he's the guy that makes the, the option run, and they're going to have to figure out a way to, to calm a funky offense that they don't see often. Jackson Buchanan boots it for Badger. And we are underway in Division Two. Fielded at the 10-yard line. Some shifty moves by Sullivan Scadden. And he's brought down to 26, where the Wanakee Warriors will operate Andy Rice the cousin of Pat is the offensive coordinator. Some of the key players that will be at his disposal on offense. We told you about Johnson, a dual threat to both throw and run. Lindley's an all-state running back. Emmerich's heading to Duluth. He's not a very big receiver, but he's very quick. And Robert Booker is a UCLA commit and the best state tight end in the state. Key players to watch brought to you by Rural Mutual Insurance. Premiums paid here. Stay here to keep Wisconsin strong. First down carry straight ahead. Bread and butter play right up the gut to the 32 yard line. There's Ben Lindley. Over a thousand yards rushing coming into this game with 23 touchdowns. He's an all-state back. Happy to be here. Blew out his ACL two years ago. The last time Wadaki qualified for state. They go quick on the offense. Give it right back to Lindley and pick up the first down at the 41. So Badger got to be ready for this. Wadaki. Going super speed. And they, again, they put up a lot of points. They haven't had many contested games this year. Lindley again. And good open field tackle made up front. Number 20 was right there. That's J.P. Doyle on the defensive side. As you look at some of the defensive key players over there, including Doyle. Now we told you to watch Doyle on offense. He pointed out he makes a big play there to stop Wanaki for the first time today. Second down and eight. And... First chance for both sides to catch their breath here as Johnson looks at the sideline for the play. Pull it back. Over the middle, caught at midfield. And the ball pops out. Will they say complete? Yes, they're calling it a completed pass. David Emmerich was the man who caught it. Down by contact. Emmerich's not that big at 5'9". Shows good hands there, and the officials rule, and rightly so, that he was down by contact before the ball was ripped out. That was short of the first down, but Lindley's going to get the call to get him the first down at the 46 of Badger. Again, they're playing with great tempo here, and seem to have Badger out of sync in the early going. There's Pat Rice. Seems like it's, he's here annually. 32nd year as the head coach at Wanakee. Ooh. Big time sack of Johnson. An explosive attack by Ethan Francois. Well, they heat up the quarterback in a big way. Here comes Francois. Nobody blocked him. He got in a good lick on Ben Johnson. So it'll be second and long for Wanakee. And then suddenly their tempo has slowed. That's when Badger was going backwards and on their heels they dial up a play to disrupt things little screen and another good tackle made on Caden McKenzie JP Doyle again in the mix nice play there Francois was his eight eight and a half sacks and then they follow that up with another nice play so it's third and long for the Warriors, who looked so impressive early. Now they're driving sputtered at midfield as Badger's defense is solidified. 
Johnson over the middle in traffic. Going to be shy of the first down, but you make it fourth and a couple. Emmerich bailing out the offense. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They try to get the ball in the hands of this shifty Emmerich who showed you he's a quick little water bug out there. And he puts him into a fourth and three situation after the pass from Johnson. They call it a fourth and three. Need the 36-yard line to keep this drive moving. Lindley flanked to the left of Johnson. Give it to him. A hop, a skip, but not a jump to get the first down. The Badger defense bends but does not break. Ryan McCarthy with the big defensive play. Keep Lindley short of the line to gain. Here it is. They go up the middle against uh, behind that big offensive line. But he's brought down by a couple tacklers, the primary one, McCarthy. In Wisconsin, something important happens in our public schools. Learning and inspiration to shape the next generation. Every single day, public school educators open the doors of opportunity for our students. Hand in hand with families, we work to be sure all students everywhere have what they need to meet their full potential. The members of the Wisconsin Education Association Council go above and beyond for our students. Join us. We act. We teach. We inspire. Menard's 11% sale ends Thanksgiving Day. Don't miss out. Upgrade your home with new flooring. We carry durable laminate flooring, easy-to-install sheet vinyl, and waterproof vinyl plank. Tarquette Harbor Village Sheet Vinyl is just 84 cents a square foot after rebate. Add style and luxury to your bathroom with Max. The Sirene Shower is the perfect stylish solution for any bathroom. Get it for $596.29 after 11% rebate. Save big money at the Hey, call insurance agent. Insurance agent not found in contact. Call insurance company. Insurance company is currently closed. Please call back during business hours. For directions, press 1. For billing, press 2. If you would like to speak with an agent, you have missed dial. Sometimes humans are just more helpful. Don't worry, we're going to get this taken care of. Thanks, man. Farm Bureau Financial Services. It's your future. Let's protect it. The Wisconsin Education Association Council salutes all public school educators. We're proud to recognize Sarah Elmore, the winner of the 2023 Wisconsin School Counselor Association's Equity in Action Award. WEAC also recognizes Jessica Rettler, one of eight teachers in America to receive the National Excellence in Teaching About Agriculture Award. WEAC members go above and beyond for our students. Join us. WEAC, we teach, we inspire. Lake Geneva Badger, Badgers, offense taking the field here at State for the first time ever in school history. Rural Mutual gives us the key players to keep an eye on for Badger. Well, Doyle talked a lot about it. You can see his numbers primarily on the ground. They rarely throw it. And Nottestead's had a big year offensively as well, running for over all, close to 1,500 yards. First man bursts through to the 40, and there's that Wanaki defense. Super stingy. They've only allowed five points on average per contest this year. Some of the defensive studs over there. Well, Brian's an All-Stater and a big guy. Two-time All-State, as a matter of fact. Hoagland's a, a very quick linebacker, and again, Duran is another All-Stater. So, Wanaki is no one has been able to solve that puzzle all year, and Badger will try to do it through their wishbone. Matt Hensler, the head coach, is. Also the offensive coordinator of this wishbone slash flexbone slash triple option offense. Doyle gives it up. And again, into the scrum it goes to the 44-yard line. They're so low to the ground, Bill, they're, they disguise everything. And if you're a defense, you have to play assignment football against this offense. Yeah, they provide you a lot of headlines. And again... The credit to Hensler to, that these guys execute as well as they do, and they're a real headache to play against. Not a stat, got the carry there. He's their leading rusher over 1,400 yards this season. Third and four for Badger here. Doyle's got it. Got the first down. 
and JP into Wineke territory at the 39. Well, he does well. He runs the option and the trailing back and Doyle keeps it and gets into the secondary where he's brought down by Cameron Mar uh, Marino. And lots of bodies, Bill. The difficulty, you're trying to navigate your own traffic and then get into that backfield to attack the runner. And Doyle, the kids in this offense, and I call them kids because youth football, they learn this offense at a young age. So when they get their opportunity, they are ready for it. It's not deer in the headlights. It's Doyle got diagnosed that time, a gain to the 37. It's stacked up there by Cole Savoa and 44 Hogland. Two linebackers are quite mobile. They rarely throw it, this Badger. Only 44 times all year as Doyle put the ball up. Talking to some Badger people last week, they said we're disappointed if it's beyond 9.30 on a Friday night game. <laughs> Second down and eight. Quick shot through. Not a step to the 32. You're looking at third down and three. In their win against Sun Prairie East a week ago in level four to get the state built, they threw the football one time. One time. And it was incomplete. Yeah, they, again, they, they do it. The, they dance with the one that brung them. They, they do it well and why throw it. But they've beaten some good teams to get here. Bumped off defending champ Kettle Moran in level three, and as Bob told you, in Sun Prairie East last week. Again, they go quick to Nottestad. So low, so shifty. He's 5'10", 180. And he didn't get the first out. It looked like he squirmed his way. No, they gave it to him. Did they give it to him? Okay. Chain game was a little delayed reaction there, but they did give it to him at the 29. So a nice march here by Badger after the stop at midfield against Sun Prairie. Not a stat, he's got that ability to squeeze through the smallest of holes on the offensive line. Toss this one from Doyle, and they spring on the outside. Nice pick up there by Matthew O'Grady. O'Grady on the pitch. He is their leading receiver, but he's also rushing the ball 57 times in plays like that. He's averaging 11.4 a carry. He's only a sophomore, Bill, and big high ceiling for O'Grady, who's got eight rushing touchdowns of his own this season. Second down and six for Badger. Doyle's got it. Every time I do a Badger football game, I was just, I, you wait a little longer than you normally would on the call because Doyle just sells it so well. And just when you think the back has it, the quarterback keeps it, then he might flip it. Somebody else on a counter. A lot of moving parts with this offense. But you can relate with what Wanaki defense goes through. Oh my goodness. As you said, it's a headache for defenses. Third down and five. Well, toss in the backfield, trying to get to the edge, and not going to be enough for the first down. O'Grady again, they string it out pretty well, though. That's going to set up a fourth down. Good pursuit there. Get in the backfield quickly was Wade Bryan. O'Grady is their field goal kicker. They've only kicked one all season, so on fourth down here, there doesn't seem to be any option for what Coach Hensler wants to do. They need three to the 19-yard line, and Matt Hensler will call a timeout. We'll step aside with him as well. Fourth down Badger. coming up when we come back. Now a message from your statewide sponsors, it's WIA Network Station. Bobby, are you there? I heard all this noise, and then I was thinking you dropped the connection, uh, but I'm a little worried. Honey, are you all right? Bobby, where are, I hear sirens. 
Bobby, what's going on? Please, please answer me. Oh God, Bobby, no, no, no. Farming is more than just a job because it demands so much of you. Every day I'm with the people that I care about the most. We accomplish or we fail together. Support Wisconsin Dairy Farmers. Buy Wisconsin Cheese and Dairy. Save on big projects. Menards 11% sale ends Thanksgiving Day. Don't miss out. Get organized. Save 11% on Dakota Closet Systems. Transform your home with 11% off new Mastercraft doors. Build your dream kitchen and save 11% on Clearview Cabinetry. Or go even bigger and get 11% off a whole house. Don't miss out. There's no limit to what you can save. Menards 11% sale ends Thanksgiving Day. Save big money at Menards. In Wisconsin, something important happens in our public schools. Learning and inspiration to shape the next generation. Every single day, public school educators open the doors of opportunity for our students. Hand in hand with families, we work to be sure all students everywhere have what they need to meet their full potential. The members of the Wisconsin Education Association Council go above and beyond for our students. Join us. We act. We teach. We inspire. Big play here. Badger got the fourth down stop on Wanake. Now the Warriors trying to return the favor on fourth and three. Where does J.P. Doyle go with the football here? Call his own number. Find O'Grady, not a stead, or something else. It was not a stead, but not enough. Warriors hold. So each team's had one possession, and they come up short and fourth down. Jackson Lenzendorf was the big body who helped blow up this play. Here's Lenzendorf, 98, and I think he got help from 99. The All-Stater Wade Bryant as well. Lenzendorf built 5'11", 290. Played last year as a sophomore. And use that big body to your advantage, big fella. Warrior offense, another turn on the football field at the 20-yard line. Henley the carry, and carrying Badger bodies with him to the 25. Wanake, their road back to state once again in search of another state title. Holman, Lacrosse Central, New Richmond, and the closest contest against Gagana, who gave them a tussle. But that's, Warriors prevailed. That's the only competitive game they've had all year. The next closest was the second game of the year when they beat Notre Dame 30-7. to The rest of them have been all blowouts. An offense that averages 47 a game. It only gives up five. A little swing pass. And a little action after for Sullivan Scadden. Yeah, different way to put what Bob just told you. They've outscored opponents. 615 to 67 this year. Yikes. Scadden. Get that scat back with the quickness after the catch. Got him closer here for third and two. On the carry, Johnson trying to get himself. Looks like he got there right at the sticks to move the chains. Ken Wanake went to the spread offense a couple years ago. Brought, uh, Pat Rice brought in his cousin Andy Rice to be the offensive coordinator. They've consulted with Tim Halverson, who had great success with the spread, and Mount Horb. He's gone elsewhere since, but they've been a spread team the last few years, and they do it well. Little pass again, fighting for extra yards. Robert Booker, Bill talked about him, the UCLA recruit. Big body with terrific hands and big blocker when he needs to be. Booker's big target, too, at 6'6", 217. You think you like UCLA? A little warmer than this place yeah. this time of year. Be playing Big Ten football <laughs> next year. No. Yeah. Go figure. That one skips on the turf. Intended for Caden McKenzie. 
quickly. Third down is here. Dotson completes 43 per 73 percent of his passes. That wasn't a good throw, obviously, but he's thrown for 23 scores. Connor will mention All-State quarterback, first-year starter, and making a big-time impression in his first year with the, the keys to this offense. It's going to be short. Catching down the 39-yard line brings up fourth down and two as McKenzie. Couldn't stay on his feet and punting unit on for Wanaki. Kenzie's a good sized target too at 6-3, but they come up a couple yards shy on four on third down, so Pat Wright's gonna send his punter out for the first time. Michael Mercury to boot the football back to get it. Matt O'Grady. Mercury's averaging 35.7 yards per punt. Grady has to back pedal and get out of the way. The ball will roll and die at the 13 yard line. Well, Grady's a threat back there. He's only returned four punts, but for 90 yards, one of them was going for a touchdown. So, as Bob told you earlier, he's a good athlete. Lake Geneva Badger, how did they get here? Elkhorn, they beat the Elks handily. Waukesha West out of the Classic Gate. Kettle Moraine, these are the two big ones. They beat the defending D2 champion Lasers in Kettle Moraine. And then a week later, had to beat Sun Prairie East. Got the job done there. Yeah, people thought they were a fluke. They proved the last two weeks they're for real, and they deserve to punch their ticket to Camp Randall. Oh, flip it on the outside, and tons of running room for O'Grady. Matthews still on his feet, finally brought down at the 46. You just said it, Bill, how athletic and fast this kid is in open spaces. They buy the, the dive play, and they get the ball to O'Grady in space. He gets finally run down by Marino in the secondary with a little help from 26 Cotter, but a big game for the Badgers. 33 yards on that O'Grady run. First and 10 to 46. Again, quick into the belly of Nottestad, goes to midfield. Matt Hensler said about O'Grady, we just get him the ball and let him go because he's got so much speed. He's got young, fresh legs, only a sophomore. It's a good look at Hensler. His dad, Keith, was a Hall of Fame coach in the state of Wisconsin. Keith Hensler made his name at McGuanago. Oh, yeah, many years running that McGuanago. And running the same offense. That's where Matt got it from. Dad showed him the way. Second and six. Doyle again. In the midst of Nottestad and still pushing the pile forward. Finally brought down at the 46. Badger looking at third down and two. They'll get the break to think about it. We've come up played a quick first quarter. Indeed. Couple of teams going up and down on each other, but the defense is setting the tone here early in quarter number one. Now a message from your local station. This is your WIAA network affiliates. Bumper damaged, paint chipped, dented or scratched car, cloudy headlights? Why live with it? Save up to 60% from traditional body shops to repair instead of replace. Big or small damage, smaller price. Visit Auto Color in Middleton or on Stoughton Road. Jack Link's Beef Jerky in New Glarus is now hiring night shift positions for maintenance mechanics and supervisors. Starting pay between $22 and $30 an hour. Includes paid time off, holidays, health, dental, and life insurance benefits after 30 days of employment. We offer steady work shifts, training, and career advancement opportunities in a fun and energetic environment. Explore your wild side and let us feed your journey. Apply online today at jacklinks.com slash careers and run with Sasquatch tomorrow. Livable Communities by Don Tierney would like to congratulate all high school football teams that made it to state. Whether you're looking for country estates, top-notch park amenities, natural views, or community right in town, you're sure to find the perfect fit with Livable Communities by Don Tierney. We have a huge inventory at Rosen Nissan Madison, including the Nissan Murano, Rogue, and Pathfinder. 
you'll save a fistful of dollars with 0% financing, $3,000 Nissan customer cash, and no payments for 90 days. Visit our showroom where our product specialists are here to help or browse our huge selection online at RosenNissanMadison.com. Come be part of the Rosen family. Rosen, Rosen, Rosen. Rosen. Enjoy over 30 varieties of homemade sausage and brats at Fred's Village Market in Wanakee. From a fresh meat case that's cut daily to unbelievable weekly specials, get to know your local butcher at Fred's Village Market, where quality is higher than price. Having trouble getting car insurance because of your driving record, no current insurance, or have an OWI? Need an SR-22? Call locally owned Compliance Insurance. Auto insurance for all drivers. Visit us online or call Compliance Insurance today and drive today. Nada on the scoreboard through the first period of this D2 state championship matchup. And the WIA football championships are brought to you by Rural Mutual Insurance Company. Premiums paid here stay here to keep Wisconsin strong. A proud sponsor of the WIAA Rural Mutual Sportsmanship Award for over 50 years. Both teams in the first quarter, Bill, had the football twice. Each team had it for six minutes exactly. Even Steven. Doyle on the toss to O'Grady. And he gets out in space and gets his way to the 38. That's another first down for Badger. Grady 33 yarder on the biggest difference statistically in the total yardage of these teams. Badger with 83 total yards in the first quarter. Wanakee with 55 and Grady there picks up the first down in the first play of the second quarter. From the 38, Badger operating here to start the second quarter. A little inside move there. Fake like it was going to be a toss. Instead, Anthony Richardson gets the football for the first time. Richardson also listed as a running back, a senior. More of a blocking back, though, I gather, in this mm -hmm. offense. Carried the ball 53 times for a 10.6 yard average. Had to get that Wanaki defense leaning one way while the football was going the other way. They only gave up three, second down and seven. Doyle's got it. And then Wanaki's got Doyle. Noah Joseph was in their first 54 for Wanaki. There's a good look at Joseph, the junior. This is a veteran Wanakee bubble. Yeah, a lot of guys, when you talk to Pat Rice, he's going through his guys and he says, two-year starter, two-year starter, two-year starter. They've been in the trenches. They've got tons of experience with this group. Looking for it here for a stop on third down and six. Doyle's got it. And he's got running room, then he flips it forward. The ball is loose. I think Badger recovered. That was danger zone right there for J.P. Doyle. And Pat Rice, you can read his lips saying that was a forward pass. Yeah, well, here's Doyle. They haven't passed all day today. This is the closest they've come to it. He, well, it does look like Pat Rice has a point. The ball went forward. Ball obviously loose there, and they well, the officials are not talking about it. But it sure looked like it was the ball went forward, and uh, Pat Rice certainly assisting uh, <laughs> the referees to make that call. They're still conferring. Yeah. If it's ruled a fumble, Badger recovered it. And if you're ruling it a forward pass, then it should be incomplete, and then you don't get the recovery there. And don't get the first down. They rule it is a fumble. Yeah, so the ball bounces on the turf at the 26-yard line. But they're going to rule it a fumble. Here's the call from Jeff Welk. They're going to look at it. Well, currently, the teams are lined up at the 20. 
four, and they've moved the chains, giving Badger a first down. Now they're moving the chains back as the review is going to be carried out. And we're going to take a break while the review is taking place. All right, a message from our statewide sponsors at WIAA Network Station. Bobby, are you there? I heard all this noise, and then I was thinking you dropped the connection. Uh, but I'm a little worried. Honey, are you all right? Bobby, where are... I hear sirens. Bobby, what's going on? Please, please answer me. Oh, God. Bobby, no, no, no. Robo assistant, ready. Well, now that we're married, we need help merging our finances. Choose from these options. Investing, insurance, retirement planning, college funding. I have so many questions. Here is a link to our FAQ page. Was this information helpful? Go with no. Sometimes humans are just more helpful. I'm sure you have questions. Farm Bureau Financial Services. Insurance, financial planning, all in one place. Please rate my service. I think when anybody comes onto our farm, they see how family-oriented we are. Having the three generations all at one dinner table, it's just a really fun time to spend as a family. I would love to see them someday taking over the farm as well. You know, that's a farmer's ultimate dream, to see it pass on to the hands of the next generation. Support Wisconsin Dairy Farmers. Buy Wisconsin Cheese and Dairy. In Wisconsin, something important happens in our public schools. Learning and inspiration to shape the next generation. Every single day, public school educators open the doors of opportunity for our students. Hand in hand with families, we work to be sure all students everywhere have what they need to meet their full potential. The members of the Wisconsin Education Association Council go above and beyond for our students. Join us. We act. We teach. We inspire. Back here in Madison, rules interpreter for the WIAA, Pat Miles is with us. Pat, take us through the play. Yeah, there's a couple things to look at here. First, uh, where the quarterback is in position to the line of scrimmage or uh, where he is at to rule if we have a good four pass or not. Now we can see that he's clearly behind the line, the, the, um, the spot when he releases the ball. The ball is in his left hand, he throws it forward. So we have a legal forward pass which hits the turf. It should be ruled an incomplete forward pass is what I'm seeing on this. Now, and he crossed the line of scrimmage when he made that illegal then forward pass. Then we have pass. an illegal forward pass if he's beyond yeah. the line of scrimmage. And they rule it as forward pass. It would be an illegal forward pass if he's beyond and it's a fumble. That doesn't matter then. Let's see if Jeff Welk. Pat, your mic is better than the guy who's <laughs> in the stripes. I believe there's so the line is 34. It's the 34-yard line. And if he's beyond that, we have then an illegal forward pass, and I believe that's what they're going to say happened here, which he is beyond. And now we have a forward pass, so you have an illegal forward pass. Is that a penalty? Beyond the left, yes. Penalty yardage. Yep. And they're going to go back. They're going to walk off the five yards from it, from the spot of the foul. All right. There's the march off and back to the 34. Thank you, Pat. Appreciate it. Stop by any time. <laughs> Pat Miles, rules interpreter with the WIAA, sitting side by side up here in the booth, breaking it down for you. So the ball goes back to the 39 yard line, and it's fourth down for Badger. We're going to go. Boil the throw for the first time today. Intercepted! Down the sideline and pushed out of bounds is Brady Sizik. Now they don't throw often, and when they did, Brady Sizik read it properly, and I think he was thinking pick six, because there's a lot of green in from him when he stepped in front of the receiver. He jumps the route, and he could all that green. But Sizek is brought down after the first turnover of the game. Good job by Sizek to jump the route. 
These corners for Wanakee, Sizek and Jake Bova, both seniors, both two-year starters. Brady snuffed it out. Third interception of the year for Sizek. And the offense licking its chops here. Handoff goes to Sebastian Rasmussen this time. He's their power back. They move him around the slot. This was just straight ahead. Handoff and plow forward for a gain of seven. Wanakee's plus ten in the year in turnovers. Rasmussen again with a burst. Dragged down from behind at the three. It'll be first and goal, Wanakee. Brian Bay saved a touchdown. Wanakee with great momentum following the turnover. They continue to go up tempo. Johnson gets them lined up. Rasmussen again. And Badger defense hang on the ankles of 27 for dear life. Literally hanging on was Logan Clausen. But he got help and brought down the running back short of the goal. By the way, that was a 50-yard interception return by Sizek. Didn't take it to the house, but the offense trying to punch it in here. Second and goal. Touchdown, Wanakee. Sebastian Rasmussen bashes it in. Thirteenth touchdown of the year for Rasmussen, who dived in, made sure he was going to get in the end zone. The senior gives Wanakee the second quarter lead. They cash in on the turnover. And the dive by 127 over the other 27 puts the Warriors in front. And Lindley was in the backfield, too, so you're Badger, and you're looking at that going. Pick the poison. Owen oh, Elliott for the extra points. It is good, and so is the scoreboard as far as Wanakee is concerned. 7 nothing as they draw first blood in Division 2. Now a message from our statewide sponsors. This is your WIAA Network Station. Bobby, are you there? I heard all this noise, and then I was thinking you dropped the connection. Uh, but I'm a little worried. Honey, are you all right? Bobby, where are... I hear sirens. Bobby, what's going on? Please, please answer me. Oh God, Bobby, no, no, no. Should we switch insurance companies when we move? Uh, yeah, not a bad idea to shop around. Your quote, $3,000, $1,500 a year. Mute, please. We should talk to someone. Sometimes humans are just more helpful. Let's get an accurate quote for you. Farm Bureau Financial Services. It's your future. Let's protect it. Our goal is to be net zero by 2025. We know we need to have the best sustainability practices, and we're just going to continue being innovative and doing our best to be as sustainable as we can. We're all working together as one big team. And it's our job to create that for the next generation. In Wisconsin, something important happens in our public schools. Learning and inspiration to shape the next generation. Every single day, public school educators open the doors of opportunity for our students. Hand in hand with families, we work to be sure all students everywhere have what they need to meet their full potential. The members of the Wisconsin Education Association Council go above and beyond for our students. Join us. We act. We teach. We inspire. It's a whiteout for Wanakee, who leads at 7-0. The 2023 WIA Football Championships brought to you by the Dairy Farmers of Wisconsin. Reminding you to look for the Proudly Wisconsin Badge to know you're getting the best quality and supporting local dairy farmers. Number 10 is your brother. That's Matthew O'Grady. Difference maker here for Lake Geneva Badger, who trails it now by the touchdown. Badger's done what they, Badger's done what they needed to do. They've controlled the ball in pretty good shape, but they turned it over and... 
Honicky makes him pay for that turnover by going 20 yards in four plays. Here's O'Grady. Right into the pile and brought down at the 21-yard line. The one pass they have thrown so far was that turnover. And why don't he pounced on it? Push it into the end zone four plays later. There's O'Grady, the big brother of the sign boulder. J.P. Doyle, number 20, is your quarterback in this offense on first and 10 at the 21. Out of stat, wrapped up immediately. Maybe a foot game, but that's it. Those big bodies in there mixing it up. Jacob Duran and company. Duran, All-State defensive tackle. Bill mentioned Wade Bryan. He's an All-Stater. Sam Hoagland, All-State honorable mention. I mean, there's some beasts on this defense for one of key. And you talked about the size of Lenzenberg. Second and ten. Doyle, toss it. Getting to the edge and getting the first down. Landon Nottestad busting out of that backfield to get free. For a gain of 12. Well, you can see how tricky Doyle is. He just freezes the defense. They don't know what he's going to do here. And he flips the ball to the running back at the last minute. He gets outside and picks up the first down. Landon loves the contact. He absorbed a lot of contact on that hit. An offense like this when you run literally... 99% of the time, there's going to be a lot of contact and a lot of hits. This play whistled dead. There was early movement by Badger. Jeff Welk is from Rhinelander. Calling the false start. And that's the popular decision by the patrons from Lake Geneva down below yeah. us. Somebody flinched here. Oh, it was the receiver up top. Close to the line of key bench. Yeah. <laughs> the Aubrey Marks up there. With a little movement. Agastad straight ahead to the 29-yard line. Agastad. 5'10", 180. The packs of punches you have seen. Coach said he'd practice six hours if he wanted him to. Yeah, they, they can't rip that kid off of the football field. Games or practice. Another one of the Badger emotional leaders sets it by example as well with how hard he runs. Second down. How hard is this run? The burst! Scored right up the middle and finally brought down out of bounds at the 11-yard line. Landon found a hole and then took off for greener pastures. Cizik saves the touchdown. Flint just flamed full of the Wanakee defense. All of a sudden, he's at the third level, and Cizik comes a long way to make the touchdown-saving tackle at about the 10. Isaac wrestling him down. To save the touchdown, 61-yard run by Nottestad. And first and goal, Badger looking for the answer to the Wanaki touchdown. Who's got it? O'Grady's got it. He's corralled and thrown out of bounds at the three by number three, Cameron Marino. It'll be second and goal. Marino gave him a bit of a rough ride and went all as well. Marino, he's the strong safety in the, on the defense, but he comes down against a team like this. They call him the Rover. He comes down to help stop the run. Well, it takes a little walk. 
Back to Matt Hensler for the play. Straight ahead push. And the QB. Bonacchese the ball's out. They got the football. So they say. Sam Hoagland says, I got the pigskin. Refer referee said he was down in contact. And short of the goal line. So it's third and goal, inches away. Another look. And that's a touchdown. PAT away from tying this up. So and the, the, the bunch, was that Doyle? Yeah. Bunching so tight. But number 20, another look. He's going low with bodies flying over the top. Yeah, Sam Hogan went over the top. Doyle went beneath him and, and one point away from tying the game. We are tied as Jackson Buchanan knocks it through. Seven plays, 79 yards. That big burst up the middle was a key on that play drive up 252. But we're tied at seven here in Madison. Quick answer by Badger after Wanaki goes in and converts the turnover into a score. Badger says, we'll show you what we can do with our offense. They got the big run from Nottestad. And Doyle goes to the last yard to tie the game. WIA football championships brought to you by Menard. Say big money at Menard. It's all your home improvement needs. See the shadows creeping in here at Camp Randall's. You look at that scoring drive we just mentioned. That they showed what they can do. They don't throw it much. They get their chunk yards on the ground, and they did on that drive, but not as that 61 yard run would set up the push-push, if you will. Yeah. Nottestead, 11 carries, Bill, 98 yards. Ball bobbling around at the seven-yard line. Gathered in, though, and returned by Sullivan Scadden. He's buried then at the 19-yard line, so the bobble costly for field position. Offense comes back in the field for Wanakee. Tied at seven, 540 and change before halftime. Wanakee hasn't done much offensively. They've got the one score, but it came in a 20-yard march after the turnover, but they haven't sustained much. Badger's done a good job of controlling that offense. Vance Johnson at the controls. Handed off. Nothing there. Loss on the play as those black shirts got in there quickly on Ben Lindley. Nice play here by Brock Walzer, I believe. Indeed, Walzer blows it up. Walzer just a sophomore. Mike Poronkowitz is the defensive coordinator at Badger, along with A.J. Curtis. They share the duties as Johnson. The running room on the outside a little bit. It'll bring up third down and eight. Johnson's dad played for Pat Rice back in the early days of the Pat Rice era at Wanakee. Yeah, Todd Johnson. Huh? And Lindsley's dad played for Pat Rice in the early days of the Wanakee dynasty. 32 years, you get to coach fathers and sons in your career. Too high. Pass down field intended for Emrick, and it brings up fourth down. So Badger follows up. They're scoring March with a three and out. I think that's today day and age. They call that complimentary football, right? You gotta drop one of those yeah. cliches. It's, <laughs> it's softening the blow a little bit. <laughs> there is the veteran Wanaki coach in his 32nd season. He's won 89% of his games in those 32 years. Like the Mercury out to put the football here for the Warriors. Matt O'Grady's back deep.
Ball bounces up to 42 and then takes a roll for additional yardage. Picking up about 11 more. Badger will get the football back. Tied at 7 at the 31-yard line. I mean, they love this go 426 out of March. They've got two timeouts. And again, we've learned they don't throw it much, so they're not going to stop the clock much with an incomplete pass. But if they're on their game, they could have an impressive four-minute drill here and go into the half of the lead. That's certainly what Hinchler would like to see. Hensler's got to like what he's seen so far this afternoon. Yep, going toe-to-toe, mano-a-mano with a traditional team. Doyle on the keeper here. Scurries his way to the 45. Weave through that warrior defense there. Ryan Busson brought him down with help from Noah Joseph. But, but Doyle showing how to run that offense. Look at all the bodies just going for that dive play up the middle. And then Doyle says, you guys stay there. I'm going to go run up the middle and pick up some big yardage. He did indeed. First and 10 at the 46. Balls out. Lose. You can hear it from the field. Someone yelled fumble. Juan, if he says we got it. The officials say Badger keeps it. Wishful thinking, but it's like Landon Nottestad comes out of the scrum with it. Never had it on the exchange. Yeah, the exchange was faulty. Honaki had a shot at it to be sure. You can see why they were excited, but Badger retains possession. Second down and 10. Ball still at the 46. Doyle flips it. O'Grady wrapped up at midfield. So again, the the quick fake into the belly of Nadestad. Try to get that defense to suck it up. And then toss to O'Grady. Well, O'Grady uses speed the outside. But Cameron Marino read that one properly. And it's third and six from midfield. Big play here on a tie ball game. Doyle's got it. Curls back. Not quite for the first down. He's going to be two yards shy at the 46. Big decision here for Coach Hensler. to play a field position game, punt it deep. Of course, Wanaki with three timeouts to go to the length of the field, or you go for it. Looks like it could be a quick decision. This is four down territory, says the coach. Yeah, no hesitation with this offense. Clock rolling here, down to the two minute mark of the first half. Fourth and two. And again, Doyle checking with his coach, Matt Hansler. And Matt's checking with. I think they try to draw Wanaki offside. Gonna call a timeout here. Yep. Burned as much time without getting the delay. Taking time off the clock down to 145, and now. They will discuss on the sidelines. Now those same options exist for Matt Hensler. You go for it, you punt. I think they're going to go for it. But. Coming up at the half, stick around. We'll have highlights. We'll have stats for you. We'll also have Mel Dow, Associate Director of the WIAA, sitting in for a chat. Look forward to hearing Mel's words of wisdom. Been a good half. I, I, I did not think this would be a defensive struggle. I think we did no points. No, agree with you, partner. It's certainly a hard hitting first half. Badger today is 0 for 2 on fourth down conversions. They're hoping to change that here by converting here and keeping the football. If anything, they want to go into the locker room tied with Wanaki at the half, but convert here and then you can. Have an opportunity to take the lead at halftime. Earlier today, Rice Lake won the Division Three championship. Coming up next, the Division One title matchup between Franklin and Marquette. That ought to be a 
offensive game, you would think, but we thought this one was. <laughs> That's right. Fourth and two for Badger at the 46. It's Doyle, and he got it. He did two, got three to the 43. And right up the middle. Just getting low, pads on pads there. They move the chains, start the clock again. Two timeouts remaining for Badger. Not a stat. To the 40. We're going to line up quickly here. Trying to preserve those TOs. I think he's only got one timeout, according to our stat. You are correct. Doyle's got it. Flip it to O'Grady. And nice tackle made inbounds at the 34. Yeah, that's the key. Marino kept him inbounds, so the clock keeps ticking, and now it's under a minute to go. It's third down and one. Trying to get him lined up here is Doyle. Not a stab. First down and plenty more to the 20 yard line. It'll stop the clock for a moment. 39 seconds left. Again, if you're just joining us, Badger's only thrown one pass all afternoon and they've only thrown 45 all season. And Wanakee's going to call a timeout here. So Badger doesn't have to use their final timeout. Wanakee. This last run, though, Bill. This was uh, this is impressive by Nottestad to wiggle through and get major yards down at the 20. He's been the star of this first half. He had a 61-yard run earlier, and there he picks up a first down. Fourteen carries for that young man, 115 yards on the ground and counting. So you see the time. Again, Badger with one timeout remaining. Wanakee with two. And again, they so rarely throw the football that you know they're going to keep grinding it out. So they're going to, you would think, have at least one running play. And then you put it up after that. Remember, Badger won the toss. They deferred. Wanakee got the football first. So Badger gets it in the second half as well. They're trying to double dip here. Doyle, man wide open. Touchdown, Badger. They don't pass often, but sometimes they strike with a surprise. 32, Luke Hansen on the receiving end, and he was wide open. Wanaki was as surprised as we were. There's Hanson with no one within five yards of him. Hanson picks up the surprise touchdown. Only the fourth touchdown pass this year by Doyle. Again, that's only his 46th pass thrown this year. Extra point is no good. Pitt pushed it wide. That was not a stat. Who made the touchdown catch? I apologize. Not a stat. Peeled out of the backfield. Take a look. At 32, Doyle rolls right, spots Landon, no one around him. No one. <laughs> and Doyle fired up. He's thrown one pass for an interception and another for a touchdown. And Badger leads it 13 to 7. Well, I think everybody in Camp Randall was shocked they threw it there. Again, in today's football, that shouldn't be surprising, <laughs> but it is a rarity for Lake Geneva Badger this season, and the element of surprise has provided them, and a nice throw by Doyle. And again, not that they didn't have anybody around him, but we've all had that feeling. It's like you're supposed to catch it, get the ball to me, please, 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 and then when it's there, you still have to carry it, or catch it and carry it the last five yards. Land Landon did all of that, Bill. He just... He made sure he tucked it and then turned into the end zone where he could just walk in. Had a steam here on the kickoff. 
by Skadden. Skadden still on his feet to the 35. Wanaki has 20 seconds to go before halftime and two timeouts remaining. Scoring drive. Again, almost four minutes off the clock. And they punctuate it with a pass, a touchdown pass. Now he's in a perfect world. Coach Hensler would like to see that four minute drill executed perfectly. Well, it would, and I guess maybe in his world, a perfect drive would be all on the ground, but he mixed that surprise pass in at the end, and he'll take it. Digging deep into that playbook. <laughs> Johnson looking for some quick strike yards. There's five there on the out route to Emmerich. Takes five seconds off the clock. Second and five. You see Wanaki's got two timeouts left. I think they got to throw it downfield considerably more than five yards on this play. Johnson looking at the sideline, checking with Andy Rice. Hanging in the pocket, sideline toss deep. Got his man! And it's going to go for six! Touchdown, Wanaki Emmerich! You want quick strike offense? There's your answer! 60 yards on the pass from Johnson to Emmerich. Eighth receiving touchdown of the year for David Emmerich, who just ran a go route and beat the cornerback. Emmerich can fly, and he had a step on the defender and went all the way. They're one point or Now they have tied the score. They're one point away from taking the lead. A shocker. That's after after Wanaki got shocked on that pass play touchdown, they come back and shock the Badgers. 24th touchdown pass of the year for Johnson, the PAT for the lead. Owen oh, Elliott. It's good. Scoreboard flips in favor of Wanaki with seven seconds to go. Well, that was a nice throw, and Emmerich showed his speed there to beat the defender. And so two scores in the final 28 seconds. 65 yards in two plays. There's Emmerich. There's, yeah, 60 of them right there. Wow. Yeah. It, 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 I mean, stunning. You're, you're thinking... Wanaki, okay, well, we'll try and dink and dunk a few things, but we're going to run out of time, and we're going to go to the locker room, trailing 13-7. to seven. Oh, no. Well, they throw five yards to Emmerich on the first play. They throw 60 yards to Emmerich on the next play, and Wanaki suddenly has a one-point lead seven seconds before the half. Apparently, there's seven seconds is still time for something to happen here. Aiden Mineholes handles the kickoff chores for the Warriors. A little short boot taken at the 17. And time will run out. Halftime here of a very entertaining football game in Division II. It's Wanaki 14, Lake Geneva Badger 13. In the locker room they go to regroup, rehydrate, and get ready for an exciting second half of football. Now a message from our statewide sponsors. This is your WIAA Network Affiliate. Probably heard by now, but Wanaki Remodeling has been transforming homes for the better part of half a century by installing materials that stand the test of time from a team of trusted home pros. Our design team delivers a turnkey experience for your interior or exterior remodeling project, leaving you with a home you love. At Wanaki Remodeling, we'll never stop improving. Right now, get a special window offer. Buy one window, get one 40% off plus special financing. Visit WanakiRemodeling.com for more. Right here. Right here is where opportunity is born. This is where career paths are paved with ambition, determination, and conviction. 
This is the very spot where trails are blazed with a fiery passion to redefine the status quo and reimagine what's possible. Right here, here, and here is where you look your future straight in the eye and confidently ask, are you ready? Over 89 active auctions right now, like this GMC 3500 with plow for 100 or this Sony SLR camera for $5. Okay, maybe not this week, but this baby dump truck for a hundy? Definitely. Make a bid, get a deal, don't miss out. WisconsinSurplus.com. At SSM Health, we know it's not always easy to fit a doctor's visit into your schedule, especially for a minor illness or health issue. That's when SSM Health Express Virtual Care can help. Just complete a quick online form or jump on a video chat with an SSM health provider and you'll receive a diagnosis and treatment plan right when you need it. That's healthcare that fits your schedule. Get started now at SSMHealth.com slash virtual care. Cobison Buses, now hiring. I'm Dina Noland. I drive for Cobison Buses. Working with Cobison, it's definitely been great because of the flexibility first day of school for my son. The fact that I get to bring him there and I can just park my bus right on the side and walk in, they don't, they don't mind that. They want you to be there for your family. I've always enjoyed working with kids. The opportunity to transport them in a bus, I enjoy doing it. Visit Cobison.com to apply. If you can't afford a new vehicle now, refinance your current loan with WEA Credit Union to save money. We mean lots of money. Whether you lower your monthly payment or pay your loan off faster, call or apply online. Start today. Save tomorrow with WEA Credit Union. It's tire season at D-Car in Wanakee. All tires purchased come with free lifetime rotation, road hazard, and alignment check. David's Certified Auto Repair is your full auto repair facility. Winter is coming. Call or schedule your appointment online with D-Car and be driving on new tires tomorrow. Livable Communities by Don Tierney would like to congratulate all high school football teams that made it to state. Whether you're looking for country estates, top-notch park amenities, natural views, or community right in town, you're sure to find the perfect fit with Livable Communities by Don Tierney. Halftime of this Division II State Football Championship. Wanakee on top of Badger, 14-13. We are at halftime getting ready for the second half of this game. Joining me now, I'm Brad Hanson. This is Mel Dow, Associate Director of the WIA. Mel, great to have you with us. How awesome has this tournament been? Thanks, Brad. It's been absolutely incredible. You know, some incredible finishes last night and then again, some incredible games today. People are really lucky. Nothing like two touchdowns in the last 28 seconds of a half to get your heart Wasn't going, that, right? Yes, yeah, so that, that was awesome. an amazing finish. That timeout was perfect time by Wanakee. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. So, uh, Mel, we want to talk constitutional amendments today, and there are a couple that are kind of grabbing the attention uh, of the body. Can you talk a little bit about what those are and, and what's being done with them? Sure. You know, the, the two that are really pushing forward right now are coaches contact as well as NIL or name, image, and likeness. Name, image, and likeness is obviously uh, taking the country by storm. Uh, over 36 states right now in the, in the nation have name, image, and likeness opportunities for high school athletes. And our membership here in Wisconsin, they're, they're considering it. Uh, we, we brought the topic to the membership two years ago uh, when it started making its rounds. And uh, we, it's time for the membership to consider, hey, do we want to remain amateurs in all aspects of our athletes or do we want them to start thinking about ways that they can monetize and what would that do for the athletes if the membership decides that this is something they want well, it would obviously be a constitutional amendment change. Um, right now, currently, they, they cannot use their name, image, or likeness for anything aspects of, of their athletic career. And uh, what this would do, the one the membership is considering right now, is to allow them to use those things outside of high school sports. So anything that they're doing in their club sports and that kind of stuff. But yet, when they're still representing their high school, their conference, their association, they need to remain an amateur. Certainly a hot topic all across the U.S. Coaches Contact is the other one you mentioned. Can you talk a little bit about what's being considered there? Yeah, so, uh, you know, some of the things that came out of COVID was, was coaches looking for different ways that they can engage with their student-athletes. You know, you take that time away, well, now it's time to start giving that time back. Currently within the association, coaches can only work with their student-athletes during the season in which that the sport offered or their five contact days. And then there's non-school programming where a coach can represent an outside club, organization, so forth. 
forth and so on and work with their student athletes in the summer. Our membership's asking for different ways that the coaches can work with their kids, be role models, engage with them, teach, and so forth. So they're talking about maybe some time outside of the season during the school year or even some additional time in the summer for them to participate. That would be, I'm sure a lot of coaches would probably really like that. Any timeline for either of those amendments? Yeah. So we actually have our annual meeting in April of every year, but the process starts actually in the fall with our area meetings. We get conversation going amongst the member schools and the administration, and then we have various board levels that we have those discussions to see if it passes through, to see if that amendment actually goes to the membership as a whole. There's four different ways that a constitutional amendment can change. It comes from recommendation from the advisory council, board of control, a petition from the membership as a whole, or a motion made on the amendment floor at, at the annual meeting. So That's awesome. Well, Mel, uh, just tell me a little bit. I mean, these are the moments, right, when the WIA is on center stage and the athletes how proud of you or how proud are you of the work that the WIA does for student athletes here in the state uh, incredibly proud uh, you know, it, it's been my life work you know, I don't ever want a kid to say what if and, and that's what our association is about is we try to find different ways we listen to our membership schools because we are a member driven organization we hear their recommendations and we try to find ways you know we, we have conversations constantly with schools administration coaches now even athletes and we're trying to find ways to meet their needs so the kids have the best experience possible you guys are doing great work mel thank you so much for spending some time with us here today thank you brad appreciate it thank you mel we're going to step aside and hear from our local sponsors this is your WIAA Network Station. Welcome to Pizza Pit, voted 2023's best pizza and chicken wings by Madison.com. Pizza Pit's more than just a pizzeria. We're your neighbors since 1969. Try our subs, gyros, or the crowd-pleasing pit sticks. Taste our award-winning flavors today and order at pizzapit.biz. At Lawton Cates, we're all about comebacks. Whether it's helping you recover after an accident or return to the job following an injury, we fight the odds and the insurance company for our clients every day. Your life counts. Lawton Cates. For over 70 years, people in northeastern Dane County have trusted Baki Chiropractic with their health care needs. Don't live with joint or back pain. Visit one of our four locations for personalized care from experienced chiropractors with a hands-on approach. Baki Chiropractic strives to get you better in a timely fashion and is accepted by most insurance companies. If you have joint, back, or neck pain, call us today. Treating you with the most time-proven adjustment methods, we also offer laser therapy, ultrasound, and muscle stim. Baki Chiropractic. Call us. Come in. Feel good again. Livable Communities by Don Tierney would like to congratulate all high school football teams that made it to state. Whether you're looking for country estates, top-notch park amenities, natural views, or a community right in town, you're sure to find the perfect fit with Livable Communities by Don Tierney. Did you see those headlights? He's a head turner for sure. I want to check out her horsepower. Excuse me? Ain't she a beaut? Wisconsin Surplus Online Auction. Deal so hot people will want to know what you're looking at. Go online now to find your spoken hot deal today. It's tire season at D-Car in Wanakee. All tires purchased come with free lifetime rotation, road hazard, and alignment check. David's Certified Auto Repair is your full auto repair facility. Winter is coming. Call or schedule your appointment online with D-Car and be driving on new tires tomorrow. Welcome to Pizza Pit, voted 2023's best pizza and chicken wings by Madison.com. Pizza Pit's more than just a pizzeria. We're your neighbors since 1969. Try our subs, gyros, or the crowd-pleasing pit sticks. Taste our award-winning flavors today and order at pizzapit.biz. Welcome back to Camp Randall. The Wanakee Warriors, a 14-13 lead over the Badgers of Lake Geneva Badger. Halftime of this Division II State Football Championship, and we have been just lucky to see some great football. We'll start yesterday. Division Seven Championship, Edgar gets their eighth state title, 36-6 over Blackhawk Warren. And then the story of the tournament. I'm gonna, you might get sick of hearing about this. I don't care. We're going to keep telling you about it. Stratford wins on the leg of a German foreign exchange student hitting only the second field goal he attempted all year long as uh, with no time on the clock. Stratford wins their ninth state title. And then in Division 5, Wrightstown jumped out to a quick 13-0 lead, and then it was all Aquinas as they come back and win that one 32-13. Lodi, high-scoring, high-octane offense. They took care of business in Division 4, the 38-14 win over Luxembourg-Casco. Those were your four games today, to, or yesterday. Today, Rice Lake 
incredible game, back and forth game between Rice Lake and Grafton. The Warriors walk away with the state title. And then, of course, we're at halftime of this Division II championship. Wanakee, a one-point lead. We're not done, though. One more game on tap. The Division I championship. Marquette and Franklin scheduled to kick off right around 4 o'clock. Just a lot of great football action. All right, we are marching closer to the second half of this D2 championship. But now a chance to hear from our statewide sponsors. This is your WIAA Network Station. Bobby, are you there? I heard all this noise, and then I was thinking you dropped the connection. Uh, but I'm a little worried. Honey, are you all right? Bobby, where are... I hear sirens. Bobby, what's going on? Please, please answer me. Oh, God. Bobby, no, no, no! Farming is more than just a job because it demands so much of you. Every day I'm with the people that I care about the most. We accomplish or we fail together. Support Wisconsin Dairy Farmers. Buy Wisconsin Cheese and Dairy. In Wisconsin, something important happens in our public schools. Learning and inspiration to shape the next generation. Every single day, public school educators open the doors of opportunity for our students. Hand in hand with families, we work to be sure all students everywhere have what they need to meet their full potential. The members of the Wisconsin Education Association Council go above and beyond for our students. Join us. We act. We teach. We inspire. Is, is that dishwasher running? Yeah. Wow. Criterion, ready when you are. Get this Criterion stainless steel appliance suite for under $2,400 after rebate. Save big money at Menards. Wanaki on top of Badger, 14 to 13, halftime of this D2 State Football Championship. Brad Hansen here with you. It was a quiet game until about the last 28 seconds of the first half. There had been 14 points scored until then. There were 13 points scored in the final 28 seconds of the half to get us to where we are today. Right now, let's take a look at the first half highlights. And we came into this game talking about how Badger does not throw the ball. And uh, right there, they're saying, yeah, this is why they don't throw the ball. Big pick for Wanaki, and they capitalize the touchdown there to take the early lead. Badger, though, they would respond. And then again, we said Badger doesn't throw the ball, right? Oh, wait, they do. Look at that touchdown through the air. But the answer came really fast. Look at that throw. What a catch. And Wanaki able to hit the extra points while Badger missed. And that is the difference in this game right now. We'll take a look at our first half stats. Check that out. Rushing yards for Badger, 229 to 46. And those 20 passing yards. But it doesn't matter. They're still down one as we head into the second half of this game. We are going to step aside. But when we come back, the second half, we're going to see who's going to get this gold ball. We'll hear from our local sponsors now. This is your WIAA Network Station. Crazy Lanes, the Midwest's oldest and largest e-bike-only store, is having Black Friday specials the entire month of November. Come see the Midwest's largest selection of e-bikes and get savings on selected models for as much as 50% off. Treat yourself to a great bike for a great deal, only at Crazy Lanes. You've probably heard by now, but Wanaki Remodeling has been transforming homes for the better part of half a century by installing materials that stand the test of time from a team of trusted home pros. Our design team delivers a turnkey experience for your interior or exterior remodeling project, leaving you with a home you love. At Wanaki Remodeling, we'll never stop improving. Right now, get a special window offer. Buy one window, get one 40% off plus special financing. Visit WanakiRemodeling.com for more. Right here. Right here is where opportunity is born. This is where career paths are paved with ambition, determination, and conviction. This is the very spot 
where trails are blazed with a fiery passion to redefine the status quo and reimagine what's possible. Right here, here, and here is where you look your future straight in the eye and confidently ask, are you ready? We have a huge inventory at Rosen Nissan Madison, including the Nissan Murano, Rogue, and Pathfinder. You'll save a fistful of dollars with 0% financing, $3,000 Nissan customer cash, and no payments for 90 days. Visit our showroom where our product specialists are here to help or browse our huge selection online at RosenNissanMadison.com. Come be part of the Rosen family. Rosen, Rosen, Rosen. Rosen. Cobison Buses, now hiring. I'm Dina Noland. I drive for Cobison Buses. Working with Cobison, it's definitely been great because of the flexibility. First day of school for my son. The fact that I get to bring him there and I can just park my bus right on the side and walk in. They don't, they don't mind that. They want you to be there for your family. I've always enjoyed working with kids. The opportunity to transport them in a bus, I enjoy doing it. Visit Cobison.com to apply. At Lawton Cates, justice means helping with your medical bills, standing up to the insurance company, and demanding compensation for lost time at work. And there's never a fee until we deliver results for you. Your life counts. Lawton Cates. Livable Communities by Don Tierney would like to congratulate all high school football teams that made it to state. Whether you're looking for country estates, top-notch park amenities, natural views, or community right in town, you're sure to find the perfect fit with Livable Communities by Don Tierney. Crazy Lions, the Midwest's oldest and largest e-bike only store, is having Black Friday specials the entire month of November. Come see the Midwest's largest selection of e-bikes and get savings on selected models for as much as 50% off. Treat yourself to a great bike for a great deal, only at Crazy Lions. Head coach Pat Rice at Wanakee getting his troops ready for the start of the second half. They lead it 14 to 13 over Lake Jima Badger. Before we kick this one off for quarter number three, we send it down to Carly Morata. Hey guys, two scores in the final 28 seconds of that first half. That was some excitement. I talked to both coaches about it. Badger head coach Matt Hensler on the decision to pass on that touchdown. He said, we've been working on that play for 14 weeks. We had to call it eventually. Wanakee's Pat Rice said he liked how his team responded. In terms of defense, he said Badger is a really talented offense. We have to play assignment football. His message to the team is just take it one snap at a time. Thanks, Carly. 14 weeks, and then you dive deep into that playbook. And away, Matt Hensler. But Pat Rice had the answer seconds later for the lead. Both coaches got to be happy where they're at. Oh, yeah. Badger controlled the ball, kept Wanakee's offense, that which you saw was explosive off the field. Badger with 15 minutes of possession time to 8.46 of Wanakee. So, and they pretty much contained Wanakee, except they isolated Emmerich on the cornerback. Johnson made a perfect throw, or Lindsey made a, or Johnson made a perfect throw, and Wanakee grabbed the lead, but it's about as close a game as you can have. Mine holds the boot, O'Grady watches it sail in and out of the end zone. And Badgers run the ball, you saw the stats. First half, they uh, control the ball. They're stopped on downs in their first drive. But scored in the last two, and those were sustained marches. Last one taking almost four minutes off the clock. Preceding one took 252. So you would think we've seen the, the surprise element of the past. I bet we're going back to basics here for Badger. Pete Doyle is the quarterback. He keeps it. Meaner off the right side of that line for a gain of six to the 26. Any kind of Simon football is what Wanakee wants to do. Wade Bryant won the Tim Crummer Award as the outstanding defensive lineman in the state this past week. Again, he's a two-time All-Stater, 6'2", 212 pounds. At a state high, 18 sacks a year ago. Yeah, against Kakana, Bill, in the level four game that got them here, Wade Bryant had four sacks. <laughs> That's doing big boy work. Second and four for Badger. And the quick give again to Nottestad. He is wrapped up. 
only allowing a gain of about two. You're looking at third and two now for Badger. Not a stat, 115 yards on 15 carries in that first half for Lake Geneva. Yeah, he was the offensive star of the first half. Might have to stare, share that honor with Johnson after the long 60-yard PD pass in the final seven seconds of the first half. Third down and two for Badger. Not a stat, stacked up right at the 30. But that'll be enough to move Not the chains. And Hogland made the tackle, but the chains do indeed move. Sam was the defensive player of the year in the Badger Large Conference. Physical, fast, flies to the football. First and ten. Badgers at the 30. Doyle tosses it. That's O'Grady on the edge. Stacked up at the 37-yard line. You're looking at Badger running their plays, and you're saying, well, I've seen this before. I've seen this before. It's not a big playbook. You're running the same plays. Again, Matt Hensler, though, they run it better than anybody in this offense. It's all about execution. And, again, tip your hat to the fact that Doyle's a two-year player of the year in the conference, and he runs it so very well. Second and three. Lost it again. O'Grady, same play. O'Grady on the carry. Where he stepped out. About a yard shot, maybe two. See, and they try to get O'Grady to the edge as much as they can. Let him use his speed. That's, that's the guy between the tackles. They again have effectively run the ball today. Now over 260 yards rushing. Or excuse me, 250 yards away. Right? Third and one. Badger needs the 40-yard line to pick up the first down. And they will get it and then some. Not a stab. Breaks free on the edge. First down, Badger at the 46 of Wanakee. Out of stats run for over 1,600 yards now this year. He breaks the tackle, though, out of scrimmage, gets to the second level, and then is brought down by Jake Bova. But Badgers in Wanakee territory again with another sustained march. 18 yards on that carry. There you see Nottestead's work today. He also caught that touchdown pass at the end of the first half. From the 46 of the Warriors. Doyle's got it. And he's wrapped up in golf at the 43. Hensler said J.P. Doyle, he's the best quarterback that they've had at Lake Geneva Badger in a long time. And they have had some good ones. Again, you've got to have somebody that understands this offense inside and out. And Doyle certainly does. They don't have, obviously, the big flashy passing numbers because they don't pass a lot. But to be able to do this and do it smoothly, that's the key to success. The 39. Third down and three for Badger on the carry by Richardson. He's that kind of stop. He's had a big day. Had that interception and big return thereafter. 50-yard return by Cizek to set up Wanakee's first score. See shadows become a factor here in the second half. Warm on the Wanakee side in the sunshine, but on this side of the field, a little cooler. Third and three for Badger. This will be close. Just a tad shy on the carry by Nottestad. It's fourth and less than a yard. Certainly, you would think four down territory for Coach Hensler. Spider back at the 37. They need the 36. Fourth and one.
guessing game for the Wanaki defense. It's Doyle with the answer to the 34 first down late Geneva Badger. Eventually the quarterback sneak there. Jacob Duran grabbed the ankle, but it was too late. Doyle picks up the first down. Almost half of this quarter bill as he come off the clock on the opening drive. Badger being Badger. Stuff that time was not a stat. Nowhere to run. White shirts and purple helmets were everywhere. Now they have succeeded in keeping Wanaki's offense off the field. They have won that battle. They've got a long way to go. But what they wanted to do and been successful doing it here. Uncomfortable for third and long. Jordan went low to make that stop. The all state defensive tackle. Second down and ten. Doyle's got it. Doyle on the keeper. Made his way to the 31 yard line. But it's a less than ideal third down situation for Badger. Yeah, you need seven now. Got to get the football to the 24 of Wanake. They sustained those marches in the first half by going five of eight on third down. They'll try to get some of it if they can't get all of it. And they'll get a little of it. Staring at a fourth and six now from the 30. Big old Enzendorf again. Yep. 5'11, 290. Jackson blew it up. Kept it in check. And now Wanaki digging in here on D. Trying to stop this long drive to start the second half. Fourth and six. Andrew is one of three and fourth down in the first half. Doyle's got it. Toss it. Running room. And a first down. Still on his feet. Matthew O'Grady. Matthew O'Grady. Well, a sophomore didn't want to go down. They get him to the edge. And he outruns the, the contain. Breaks one tackle. Back more than a couple of tackles. And picked up, most importantly, picked up the first down. What do they say? You can't coach speed, right? This, this kid's just loaded with it. Already now up over 70 yards today, rushing. And Badger continues to grind it out. And then down to four minutes to go in the third quarter. And into the so-called red zone for 19, first and 10. Not a stab. Right ahead that time to the 14. Noah Joseph took him down. At the 14-yard line again, five. To your point, Bill? Yeah, they're keeping this high-powered Wanaki offense off the football field. They're shortening the game here in the second half. Did make it a statement. And Rice doesn't like what he sees. Doyle under center and now gonna communicate to his line on second down and five. Not a stat again. But snap into his belly. Third and two now at the eleven. Well, we haven't we Talked a lot about not as dead, no Grady and Doyle. We should give some love to guys up front. Brandon Watcher, 75, 77. Richard Skipper, the third. Jackson Buchanan, 56. They've opened the, the holes for these guys. Jackson Braden, Bill, four year starter. He's number 58. He's been doing powerful work up front against. A very stingy defense. Third and two here. Not a stand. He's got it. First and goal 
Lake Geneva Badger. Badger now, Bill, in the game is 8 of 12 on third down conversions. That's huge. Quite a march. A statement march. Looking to take the lead. You're early in the third, you're late in the third quarter. Doyle's got it. Touchdown. I beg your pardon. You faked you out O'Grady with the score. I'm not alone. Because there was running room on the edge, and O'Grady got in for six. Watch all the moving parts. Fake it, toss it, block on the edge, into the end zone for six. O'Grady's ninth rushing touchdown of the season. None bigger than that one. They're going to go for two, try to get back that point they missed on the PAT they missed in the second quarter. O'Grady, no, short. Great tackle that time by Marino. So it's a five point lead for Badger at 19-14. Now a message from your statewide sponsors. This is your WIAA Network Station. In Wisconsin, something important happens in our public schools. Learning and inspiration to shape the next generation. Every single day, public school educators open the doors of opportunity for our students. Hand in hand with families, we work to be sure all students everywhere have what they need to meet their full potential. The members of the Wisconsin Education Association Council go above and beyond for our students. Join us. We act. We teach. We inspire. Menard's 11% sale ends Thanksgiving Day. Don't miss out. Upgrade your home with new flooring. We carry durable laminate flooring, easy-to-install sheet vinyl, and waterproof vinyl plank. Tarkat Harbor Village sheet vinyl is just 84 cents a square foot after rebate. Add style and luxury to your bathroom with Max. The Sirene Shower is the perfect stylish solution for any bathroom. Get it for $596.29 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. I think when anybody comes onto our farm, they see how family-oriented we are. Having the three generations all at one dinner table, it's just a really fun time to spend as a family. I would love to see them someday taking over the farm as well. You know, that's a farmer's ultimate dream, to see it pass on to the hands of the next generation. Support Wisconsin Dairy Farmers. Buy Wisconsin Cheese and Dairy. Hey, call insurance agent. Insurance agent not found in contact. Call insurance company. Insurance company is currently closed. Please call back during business hours. For directions, press 1. For billing, press 2. If you would like to speak with an agent, you have missed dial. Sometimes humans are just more helpful. Don't worry, we're going to get this taken care of. Thanks, man. Farm Bureau Financial Services. It's your future. Let's protect it. Wanakee trailing now 19 to 14, the 2023 WIAA State Football Championships. Brought to you by the Wisconsin DOT, Zero in Wisconsin. Together, we can save lives. What an impressive, but sort of typical Lake Geneva Badger drive, Bill. Oh, that's what they do. And they take, well, they use the whole third quarter to march the length of the field. They go 80 yards in 18 plays. It took them 9.43. They take the lead, but they're chasing the scoreboard. Marino with a big defensive play, which may be forgotten later on this afternoon, but a big play as uh, Monarchy now down only five. And we'll bookmark that two-point try that didn't happen. Short kick here, so good field position here for Wanaki at the 40-yard line. Last time they touched the ball, Johnson made a beautiful throw to Emmerich for a 60-yard touchdown pass. Look at the time of possession. I mean, we said at the top that one of the keys of the game was going to be Badger keeping Wanakee off the field, and they've certainly succeeded, as that stat indicates. 
There's your drive chart from Wanakee way back in the first half. Seems like eons ago. Well, they haven't done much. That first drive took three and a half minutes. The second one, two and a half minutes. The third one, when they scored a minute. Fourth one was a minute. And then the 13 seconds to score the touchdown. And down goes Johnson. Pressure from the outside. Brock Walser was there. He slammed Johnson to the turf. Johnson's shaking up. Out of nowhere. And the ball scored it out. There was no whistle, so Johnson had to get up and jump on it. Second and 24 now. Put it on the ground. Big burst up the middle. That's Ben Lindley. He'll get some of that yardage back, but third down and long still. Third and 15 from the 35. Pat Rice. He says it all, doesn't it? Honestly, he hadn't been in many close games this year. Johnson. Catch! First down! Oh, he dropped it in the bucket to Lindley. Oh, a nice touch. Beautiful ball there by Johnson. And Lindley of are both legacy backs. We told you about their dads playing to go. Beautiful ball, though. And a sizable game for Wanakee. Needed that after the sack that started this drive. Now Johnson, the keeper, pushed out of bounds at the 40-yard line. Look at the linebacker. He reads it and curls, but too late. Lindley, little wheel route action there. Hogan Boston is the guy who made the read, but uh, again, Perfectly executed by the quarterback. Second and five from the 40. Wanakee trying to answer, trailing by five. It's Lindley. Good initial push. And then the feet kept chopping away at the turf to get that first down. All state running back picks up the first down. Wanakee now in rhythm. How about Johnson keeping his poise after getting sacked on the first play of this drive? Eddie Stuff. Lindley again getting lathered up to the 24. So, in contrast in style, just up tempo, getting up and down the field quick. Badger, methodical, almost lull you to sleep. Fake it, toss it, catch and go. And that's a touchdown! Robert Booker, the second, the big tight end, making his presence felt here at Camp Randall. Again, he's going to UCLA. They, have, they don't use him much. That's only his 18th catch of the year. But he goes out here and all by himself and goes, well, he went and touched. Well, I guess he got touched at the one, but Booker all alone. And Wanakee has regained the lead with 12 seconds left in the third quarter. It's almost like Badger and everyone else in the stadium forgot about Robert Wanakee Booker. To go for two. They're going for two, obviously. Gonna bump this lead up to plus three. Johnson rolling, looking, firing, and it was tipped. Tried to get it to Caleb McKenzie. I think Alec Welch jumped in front of the route. So it's a one-point game. Late stages of the third quarter here in Madison. Now a message from our statewide sponsors. This is your WIAA Network Station. Bobby, are you there? I heard all this noise, and then I was thinking you dropped the connection. Uh, but I'm a little worried. Honey, are you all right? Bobby, where are... I hear sirens. Bobby, what's going on? Please, please answer me. Oh, God. Bobby, no, no, no! Robo assistant, ready. Well, now that we're married, we need help merging our finances. Choose from these options. Investing, insurance, retirement planning, college funding. I have so many questions. Here is a link to our FAQ page.
Was this information helpful? Go with no. Sometimes humans are just more helpful. I'm sure you have questions. Farm Bureau Financial Services. Insurance, financial planning, all in one place. Please rate my service. Our goal is to be net zero by 2025. We know we need to have the best sustainability practices, and we're just going to continue being innovative and doing our best to be as sustainable as we can. We're all working together as one big team, and it's our job to create that for the next generation. Save on big projects. Menards 11% sale ends Thanksgiving Day. Don't miss out. Get organized. Save 11% on Dakota Closet Systems. Transform your home with 11% off new Mastercraft doors. Build your dream kitchen and save 11% on Clearview Cabinetry. Or go even bigger and get 11% off a whole house. Don't miss out. There's no limit to what you can save. Menards 11% sale ends Thanksgiving Day. Save big money at Menards. Another lightning quick scoring drive by Wana Key to give them the lead again at 20 to 19. The scoring drives today, Bill, have been a minute three, 13 seconds right before halftime, and this last one, two minutes to get back in the end zone. Yeah, it didn't take him long to go. 60 yards and seven plays, and Booker with the catch. Again, we talked at the top. You're going to have contrasting styles, contrasting tournament experience. Badger here for the first time, Wana Key for the 12th time. The wishbone option football against the quick strike Wanakee offense and made for a fun afternoon. Warriors in search of their eighth state championship title. They've been runners up four times before. A lot of hardware in that trophy case up at Wanakee. O'Grady bobbled, but then gather at the four. Cuts right, cuts up, blasted out of bounds. 34. Great sizing. And four seconds to go. This will be the final play of the third quarter in what has been an entertaining football game for all the marbles in Division Two. The wind is a bit of a factor going left to right. That certainly won't impact Badger much because they don't throw it much. But something to note when we go to the final 12 minutes. From the 31, first and 10. J.P. Doyle under center. Toss it O'Grady. Again, trying to get to the edge. They string it out. Does want a key. Last them out of bounds at the 33. That will end the third quarter of play here at Kent Randall Madison. Our score, 20 to 19. Wanakee in front of Lake Geneva Badger. Now, your local station. This is your WIAA network affiliate. The holidays are coming, and there's no better time to update your flooring. From luxury vinyl and tile to laminate, hardwood, carpet, and stone, Floors for Less will give you a free consultation and $200 off your next flooring project through the end of the year. Don't pay more for your quality floor. Shop Floors for Less today. Right here. Right here is where opportunity is born. This is where career paths are paved with ambition, determination, and conviction. This is the very spot where trails are blazed with a fiery passion to redefine the status quo and reimagine what's possible. Right here, here, and here is where you look your future straight in the eye and confidently ask, are you ready? Feels good to win? Get in on the action at WisconsinSurplus.com. Bid on any number of new auction items. With new auctions added weekly, the winning never stops. Wisconsin Surplus Online Auction. Great deals, unexpected. For over 70 years, people in northeastern Dane County have trusted Baki Chiropractic with their health care needs. Don't live with joint or back pain. Visit one of our four locations for personalized care from experienced chiropractors with a hands-on approach. Baki Chiropractic strives to get you better in a timely fashion and is accepted by most insurance companies. If you have joint, back, or neck pain, call us today. Treating you with the most time-proven adjustment methods, we also offer laser therapy, ultrasound, and muscle stim. Baki Chiropractic. Call us. Come in. Feel good again. 
livable communities by Don Tierney would like to congratulate all high school football teams that made it to state. Whether you're looking for country estates, top-notch park amenities, natural views, or community right in town, you're sure to find the perfect fit with livable communities by Don Tierney. The holidays are coming and there's no better time to update your flooring. From luxury vinyl and tile to laminate, hardwood, carpet, and stone, Floors for Less will give you a free consultation and $200 off your next flooring project through the end of the year. Don't pay more for your quality floor. Shop Floors for Less today. Matt Hensler and his Lake Geneva Badgers. I don't know if this type of game is cardiologist approved. Y you know the ticker's probably thumping a little harder here as we go to the fourth quarter. And again, if you're, if you're joining us, you didn't hear at the start of the show, in the level three game at Kettle Moraine, Matt Hensler had a heart incident. And they took him to the hospital. He spent a few days there. He worked the level four game against Sun Prairie East from the booth upstairs. Team got it done down on the field. He did, made the decision that he was feeling good and was going to be in the field today for this D2 state championship as O'Grady. Again, shiftiness when he gets to the edge. Pursuit there to push him out of bounds at the 43. But the damage done. First down, Badgers. Yeah, as I said, he didn't want to be a distraction. He, he's down in the mix. He thinks he's an asset on the sidelines, and he liked what he sees there. As O'Grady once again gets to the outside and picks up the first down. <laughs> Matt was was talking to the statewide media and, and he kind of joked but kind of seriously said, yeah, my doctors know that I'm a football coach. They, they know that it's a high pressure, high stress situation. But he's also said, I'm in charge of my own health and he knows what has to be done. Doyle, little fake and then shimmy back. To the 45 yard line. Well, he took a lick from Hoagland. Yeah, this might have been a busted play. No, Saboa is the one who got the big hit on him. Oh, Saboa's had a big year. Even if that was a busted play, you, you still got two yards out of it and you didn't lose the football. JP just making something out of nothing. Second and eight from the 45. Toss it again to O'Grady. Boy, number 10 is just doing a lot of heavy lifting, using that speed. And you can spy him, and you can chase after him with somebody on defense. Then you got that guy you got to worry about in the middle. Right. And that's the thing. It, it, if everybody goes all in on 10, then guess what? The running back burns you. The quarterback burns you. Third and three here. We'll call it two. From the 49 of Wanakee. Andrews rushed for over 300 yards today. Doyle. And depends on the spot. It's going to be close. See, now that play looked like that was by design. So we go back to the one that we thought maybe was a busted play. I think that's that's JP ad lib in there and trying to get the defense going one way, and then he shifts. One Less than a yard. Other big fourth down call. This has usually been Doyle plowed straight ahead on the quarterback sneak. He hands it off this time. Sharing the assignment with his running back, Landon Nottestad. Nottestad up to the task again. And they keep the march alive. The number of possessions now become very vital here in the final 10 minutes of a one point state championship game. And Wanaki with the quick strike offense. Badger just grinds it out and grinds it out some more. And takes their time doing so. Ippy Doyle gets him set at the line. First and ten. He's got it. Found an opening on the left side to the 40. Doyle on the carry. made the tackle. 
Again, the line. Shout out. Lyndon Bloom. Lynn Bloom. Braden. Waltrith. Skipper and Buchanan. They've opened the holes and by and large done a good job of winning the war in the trenches if you go by the time of possession and the number of first downs. And Max Davis, the tight end. Good blocking tight end as well, number 44. First up the middle. This will be six. Touchdown, Badger. No flags. Not a stand out of place, similar to what we saw in the second quarter, which went for 61 yards. This one goes for a score, and Badgers regain the lead. Nobody touched him. Wow. Gaping hole. And here we go, the two-point try once again, trying to bump it up to a seven-point lead once again. 40 yards on the run, straight up the gut. For Landon Nottestad. Andrew had a point after touchdown fail and a run fail. Inside handoff and in for two. Richardson gets it done. Badger fans, crazy go nuts. Here at the home of the Wisconsin Badgers, 27 to 20. The folks from Lake Geneva in their first ever trip to state having a blast. Now, a message from our statewide sponsors. This is your WIAA Network Affiliates. In Wisconsin, something important happens in our public schools. Learning and inspiration to shape the next generation. Every single day, public school educators open the doors of opportunity for our students. Hand in hand with families, we work to be sure all students everywhere have what they need to meet their full potential. The members of the Wisconsin Education Association Council go above and beyond for our students. Join us. We act. We teach. We inspire. Should we switch insurance companies when we move? Uh, yeah, not a bad idea to shop around. Your quote, $3,000, $1,500 a year. Mute, please. We should talk to someone. Sometimes humans are just more helpful. Let's get an accurate quote for you. Farm Bureau Financial Services. It's your future. Let's protect it. Bobby, are you there? I heard all this noise, and then I was thinking you dropped the connection. Uh, but I'm a little worried. Honey, are you all right? Bobby, where are... I hear sirens. Bobby... What's going on? Please, please answer me. Oh God, Bobby, no, no, no. Is is that dishwasher running? Yeah. Wow. Criterion, ready when you are. Get this Criterion stainless steel appliance suite for under $2,400 after rebate. Save big money at Menards. This Badger team does not blink. Another impressive drive cobbled together by Matt Hensler's offense. Here's a big old offensive lineman that opened the holes. For a rushing attack that's gone for 378 yards this afternoon. With the latest scoring drive, they go 69 yards in nine plays. Not a stead with the long 40 yard touchdown run. Nobody touched him. Took 319 for Badger to take the lead. Not a stead now with 197 yards rushing in 26 carries. Zach Walton, the little chip shot with the nine iron. Heal it on the bounce. Scat him. Campers for extra yards to the 30-yard line. So another methodical but productive drive by Badger. But we have seen Wanaki answer and do it in quick fashion time and time again. And they have one more answer. First and 10, Wanaki. 
Not a time on <laughs> it. Lots of uh, lead changes yet. Been a fun one. Start this drive at the 30 yard line. Lindley. Gain of five on first down. For Wanaki, this has got to be a productive drive that produces points. Because if you give it back to Badger up by seven, they'll grind it out on you. You may never touch the football again. But Lindley providing the spark here on two runs to start this drive. Out of bounds at the 49 of Badger. Got a rough ride from O'Grady with no flag. But again, they want to keep pretty explosive. They got Johnson to throw it, Lindley to, to run it. Booker and Emrick are good weapons at the receiving core for Johnson. Lindley again, right in the hot hand. He gained 16 on the last carry. It's about eight more here to the 41. And Wanakee averages 47 points a game. Pat Rice on 342 games in his career. Sixth all-time in this day. Then Lee one more time. He's carried the mail all four times so far on this drive. To the 39, first down, Wanakee. 39-yard line. It's enough for a first down. First and 10, Wanakee. Halt the Warriors' offense. Just for a moment to move the chains, but up tempo. Play comes in from the sidelines, and Andy Rice ready to roll here. Lindley bouncing for the 36. The plays are signal in, Bill. You've got two coaches over there, all kinds of gyrations, waving their hands, and then you've got the big cue cards going up with all kinds of different pictures. Second and seven. You're from Michigan, you'd understand that. Thank you. Thank you. Too easy. There you go. The big cards. Coaches going through all it. Catch is made. Pulled down and then scampering for more. Emmerich. Trying to get to the corner, get to the end zone. He does! Touchdown! Did we just say quick strike offense? Boy, that was all Emmerich, though. My goodness, he showed his burst. But isolated in the last seven seconds of the first half, cut a pass to put Wanaki in front. Here he eludes O'Grady there, another defender there, another there. Then he uses his speed to go across the field and down the right sideline. And Wadakee's within one again. They apparently will kick the point in an attempt to tie the game with 6.42 remaining. That play took 159, Bill. 159 to go 70 yards. And we are tied again at 27 all. Now a message from our statewide sponsors. This is your WIAA Network Station. Bobby, are you there? I heard all this noise, and then I was thinking you dropped the connection. Uh, but I'm a little worried. Honey, are you all right? Bobby, where are... I hear sirens. Bobby, what's going on? Please, please answer me. Oh God, Bobby, no, no, no. Hey, call insurance agent. Insurance agent not found in contact. Call insurance company. Insurance company is currently closed. Please call back during business hours. For directions, press 1. For billing, press 2. If you would like to speak with an agent, you have missed dial. Sometimes humans are just more helpful. Don't worry. We're going to get this taken care of. Thanks, man. Farm Bureau Financial Services. It's your future. Let's protect it. Menards 11% sale ends Thanksgiving Day. 
Don't miss out. Upgrade your home with new flooring. We carry durable laminate flooring, easy-to-install sheet vinyl, and waterproof vinyl plank. Tarkat Harbor Village Sheet Vinyl is just 84 cents a square foot after rebate. Add style and luxury to your bathroom with Max. The Sirene Shower is the perfect stylish solution for any bathroom. Get it for $596.29 after 11% rebate. Save big money at the Farming is more than just a job because it demands so much of you. Every day I'm with the people that I care about the most. We accomplish or we fail together. Support Wisconsin Dairy Farmers. Buy Wisconsin Cheese and Dairy. Got a good one here, tied at 27. The Wisconsin Education Association Council thanks all public school educators giving their all school effort all season long. We act, we teach, we inspire. I'm inspired watching this football game, Bill. I don't know about you, this has been a dandy. It really has. Remember when it was 7-7 seven to seven with less than a minute left in the first half? I do. Talking about there wasn't much offense. <laughs> Message received down below. The boys are delivering. Yeah, we have seen a lot of scores since that last minute of the first half. Mine holes tees it up for Wanaki to boot it. Matt O'Grady is deep. O'Grady will get it at the three. It's first seam, finds one, and then it closes quickly at the 23. Ideally, and I emphasize ideally, for Badger and Matt Hensler, you want to do what you've done in this football game. Control it, pick up first downs, move it downfield, score points of some sort, and don't leave a whole lot of time on the clock left because Wanakee doesn't need a whole lot of time to answer a score. But that is ideal. 636 a lot of times. It is. Unclockable. Even for a team that keeps it on the ground as efficiently as Badger. There's O'Grady. Out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Pick up of six. O'Grady is over 100 yards. Not a stat. Closing in on 200 yards rushing. 300 91 yards total rushing is the division two record in a game they might smash that on this drive Doyle record breaking run right there and more importantly first down at the 49 of Wanakee Impatient run there by Doyle, waited to see where the hole is going to be, and he cuts it back, and he's got a, more than enough to break the record for most collective yards by a team in a Division II game. There you go, 405 and counting. They ain't done yet. Well, if they're going to win the game, they're going to have to continue to amass rushing yards. Doyle's now at 91 rushing yards. O'Grady 110. Not as dead, 197. They may have three over the century mark before it's all said and done. O'Grady's turn to add to his total. Pushed out of bounds at the 38. In the shadow of Phil Longo's air raid offense, office, they've thrown the ball twice today. One was intercepted, the other went for a touchdown pass. Exactly what Matt Hensler loves to see. It means his offensive machine is clicking on all cylinders. From the 38, first and 10. Doyle stacked up at the 35. You mentioned Bill, shadow of the 
so-called passing offense. Pretty good runners that play on this field, right? That guy, one of the best ever. Michi wasn't too bad. Yeah. Elvin Gordon wasn't too bad. Crazy legs. Honey Ball. There's been some dandies. James White. Michael Bennett. We can keep going. Second and seven. And that one went nowhere quick. Diagnosed by the big boys up front. Along with Hoagland. Who dove in to slow down. Not a stad. And bring up third down and six. We'll probably say this a lot in the next 445. But a big play coming here on third down. Crowd knows it too. It's Doyle. He's got it. They mark him at the 27. That's enough for a first down. And Doyle is so good at running this offense. And he's got a few weapons. And he is trying to take his team into the end zone ideally but points of any sort here with the potential to win a first ever state championship O'Grady down to the 16 he's only a sophomore Mr. Outside on this attack uses his speed here and takes the pitch who set of downs at the 17 for Badger under four to go in regulation. That yeah, Wanaki defense has got to be tired. Been on the field all day long, it seems. Doyle straight ahead. He's squirming his way close to the 10. 3.30 to go. Edwards had the ball for over 30 minutes today in this game. As good as those guys are, that's that's taxing. And their work still got work to do here, trying to keep Badger out of the end zone. At least force a field goal try. Under three to go. Doyle again. They stack him up at the ten. This will be third down and three. If you want a key and you stop him short, and then your Badger, does Hensler go for it to try to pick up another first down? Or do you try to kick the three for the lead? First things first, third and three. It's Doyle on the cutback. Touchdown! J.P. Doyle gives Badger the lead. Well, you said that would be ideal if they could take about four minutes off the clock. They listen to you, Bob, and Doyle goes the final yards again. He makes this offense click. He kept it himself here, cuts it back, and scores the go-ahead touchdown. With 219 left in regulation. And now Doyle on the holder for the PAT. Jackson Buchanan. Kick is good. 34 27. Another look. Doyle. The cutback. And walks into the end zone to put his team in front one more time. 27th touchdown of the year for Doyle and caps a 12 play 76 yard drive that took 417 off the clock and now we told you about Badgers grinding out deliberate offense we've also talked about the quick strike offense from Wanakee and they are going to have to prove that they are indeed a team that can strike fast they have all their timeouts 
and 219 left in the clock. And three Badger players have rushed for over 100 yards. On the last drive, Doyle got up and over the century mark. He's at 118. O'Grady, 131. Nodstad, 198. Five, 454. Total rushing yards by Badger so far. Short kick. Fielded finally at the 21. Scadden goes down. And Wanakee. They have proven they can score quickly. They have to do it again here with 2.14 to go in regulation. Ronicky here for the fourth time in six years. A lot of these guys have been in this situation before. They're no slouches. They've amassed 272 total yards today, but a little more balanced than Badger. And that's Van Johnson. The junior quarterback who's been poised for much of the afternoon. Lindley to the 34. Vance's father, Todd, he was the starting quarterback for Rice in the early 90s. Son's trying to do what dad did. First down run there for Lindley to the 40. They move the sticks. Under two to go in regulation. Lindley's dad, Ryan, was Rice's tailback his first year coaching. Those two want to have bragging rights at the Thanksgiving table next week. Fake it. Johnson toss it to the big tight end. Booker tripped up, but he picks up the first down and in the Badger territory. Play action there. Booker, as he had done in the touchdown reception, all alone in the flat. Picks up sizable yards. All of a sudden, Pollock Navawanaki's in Badger ter territory with a minute 36 left in regulation. All three timeouts. From the 47, first and 10. Signals in. Johnson from the shotgun. And Mark, someone moved on the line. And we get to hear from Jeff Welk, who has been pretty quiet. All start. Offense. Five yard line penalty. It's like first time. Wanna well, use first penalty, I believe. You are correct. To make it first and 15 back at the Wanakee 48. It's Lindley. Skitters his way straight up the middle to the 47. A lot of key line is big. And Pat Rice talks about how smart they are. Lennox and Olsen, both all-region offensive linemen. Olsen is an honorable mention all-stater. They've opened a lot of holes today for Ben Lindley. Second and 10. Lindley again trying to get to the outside. And he does, and he's banged down at the 40-yard line. Three yards shy. And it was inbound, so Pat Rice has to burn his first timeout. Timeout, one and two. Uh -oh. 103 is a lot of time. These many timeouts. Only takes a lick there. Rock Walzer in the big hit on Lindley. But an exciting state tournament so far. If you missed it yesterday, Edgar won another state title. Carter Butt with five touchdowns, a Division Seven record. As the Wildcats romped and stopped, this is probably the most exciting thing we've seen to date. The German exchange student soccer player, first ever field goal, Lorenz Planter for 32 yards. Steve Stratford a win, a kind of spotted their full 13. Roared back to beat Wrightstown last night. Saw this game, and Lodi ran it up on Luxembourg, Pasco 38-14, Spencer Lane with a big night. Earlier today, Rice Lake scored late in the fourth quarter to take an eight-point win over Grafton here for only the second time, and we've had a dandy here this afternoon. We anticipate another good one at four when Kimberly takes on Franklin. Lindley. Recap done. Back to the live action we go. 
and a first down run to the 25 yard line. Preserving those timeouts. Finley's got it. Kind of chunky on the exchange there from Johnson, but he held on to the football and they got to burn that second timeout here. Timeout, one to keep. That's their second. Well, one remaining for Pat Rice. Again, Wanaki hasn't been in this situation all year. The closest game was last week when they beat Kakana by 10. Otherwise, it's been a series of blowouts. So, guys in a white and purple facing a situation they're not real comfortable in here in the last minute of the Division VI title game. Wanaki trying to win their eighth state title. 35 seniors on this large roster. They have been the leaders. Bill mentioned the academics. Pat Rice, was, he pointed that out too. I've got smart kids, and that translates to the football field. They know what the assignment is and how to execute it. And they do it here to try to force at least a tie. Second and nine from the 24. Johnson rolling. Throws. Got his man. The big tight end is in. Touchdown. Booker is second score of the day. Third touchdown pass of the day for Johnson. Excuse me. Fourth touchdown pass of the day to Johnson. The second to Booker. And again, Booker finds himself all alone. I believe they're going to go for two here, Bob. I was just wondering, does Pat Rice play for the win? He is. Wow. That's the call by the veteran coach. 40 seconds left. Two-point conversion that could determine the winner. Johnson throws. Dropped! It was Lindley. I don't know if he makes the catch if he even gets in. There were Badgers blanketing him. One more look. It's going to be close. Pretty good coverage there by G.P. Doyle. But Lindley couldn't control the pass, which was right in his hands. And we'll never know if Doyle was going to make the stop. As it is, Badger will undoubtedly be looking at trying to receive an onside kick. And Pat Rice rolled the dice and came up. And I'm out. Badger. Coach Hensler on the verge of Badger winning their state first state championship ever going to settle his troops down and explain what's at stake here and what everybody in the place figures is going to be an onside kick. And these two teams, how many times do you practice this? How many times do you see it in games when you've had so many lopsided scores? You go through the motions here again to remind everybody get that hands team up there for Badger and for Wanakee they're looking for a crazy bounce and then get bodies to the football. This has been an unbelievable game. Scoreless first quarter again it was 7-7 with 28 seconds left in the first half. Since then we've seen teams go back and forth with Contrasting styles to be sure. Badgers run up and down the field, grinding it out. Wanaki scored in a hurry. And then Pat Rice gambled. Went for two point conversion instead of kicking the game tying extra point. Oh, yeah, we're not done playing football yet. Marquette, Franklin, D1 title. This is Aiden Meinholz. He's the kickoff specialist. And again, all the Badgers, all the hands guys used to handling the football up tight near midfield.
Everyone holding their breath. And Badgers holding the football. Yes, they are. Celebration is on here in Madison and in Lake Geneva. 31 came up with it. Brock Walzer. Big hugs to preserve the first ever state title in football in their first ever trip to the state title championships. Well, Bob, you and I saw it yesterday. Hold your breath. We saw Darlington fumble in the final second yesterday. And we had a quirky finish there. Wanakee's got one timeout. So you would think Doyle, who's been so good at running this offense, is going to take a knee. He will. Here's the onside kick. Walzer makes the big play here, though, as it gets the big hop, and Walzer shows good hands and the good hands team to make the game saving play. Time out. Want to keep the final of the half. Brock, by the way, is a sophomore running back, so he's been watching all his teammates run this offense. But he was up there to help preserve it for the offense. A new Division II team rushing record over 450 yards. Most rushing attempts built for two teams. That's a new record. 99. Badgers amassed 474 total yards, only 20 through the air. But Doyle, and I mean, you know, we've seen a lot of option football in past days. But Doyle, he's really impressed with the way he runs this offense. I mean, you got to say, he runs this option as well as anybody you've ever seen in this tournament. And the numbers they put up today, I hear a credit to him as well as Notstad and O'Grady. And Badgers about to win their first championship. One final snap and the knee by Doyle. And these Badgers... Come to Camp Randall and make it their home at the home of the Wisconsin Badgers to beat Wanakee by one, 34 to 33. Quite a game. And that's quite a football team. Normally we call this a heart-stopping performance, but I don't know if we should with Coach Esler. <laughs> Point taken. But boy, what a dandy. I don't know if cardiologists approved, but it was a great football game. Enjoyable. Hope you were entertained because we were. Now a message from your local station. This is your WIA network affiliate. Blower noises, pops, or rattles coming from your furnace? Call Fowler for a free estimate and next day installation on a quality furnace that's quiet, saves you money, and backed by a five-year guarantee. Call Fowler Heating and Air today. Cooler heat, Fowler can't be beat. You've probably heard by now, but Wanaki Remodeling has been transforming homes for the better part of half a century by installing materials that stand the test of time from a team of trusted home pros. Our design team delivers a turnkey experience for your interior or exterior remodeling project, leaving you with a home you love. At Wanaki Remodeling, we'll never stop improving. Right now, get a special window offer. Buy one window, get one 40% off plus special financing. Visit WanakiRemodeling.com for more. Right here. Right here is where opportunity is born. This is where career paths are paved with ambition, determination, and conviction. This is the very spot where trails are blazed with a fiery passion to redefine the status quo and reimagine what's possible. Right here, here, and here is where you look your future straight in the eye and confidently ask, are you ready? Bumper damaged, paint chipped, dented or scratched car, cloudy headlights? Why live with it? Save up to 60% from traditional body shops to repair instead of replace. Big or small damage, smaller price. Visit Auto Color in Middleton or on Stoughton Road. 
At Lawton Cates, we provide compassion and guidance after a serious accident. From the first phone call, we're by your side. We know how much is at stake, and we're dedicated to ensuring you can heal and move forward. Your life counts. Lawton Cates. Have vacation plans? How about the ultimate dream pupcation for your dog at Barks on Bourbon? We're a boarding, grooming, and daycare facility exclusively for dogs. We promise to treat every dog as we would our own and customize each dog's stay to meet their individual needs. From a very active guest to a not-so-social guest, we'll establish the care that's right for them. Our staff focuses on safety, comfort, and fun. After all, this is a mini doggy getaway. All breeds and sizes are welcome. Barks on Bourbon. FlexSteel is furniture that comforts, furniture for living, furniture with a heart of steel. Save big during our FlexSteel authorized Black Friday sale. Going on now at Wanakee Furniture ETC. Livable Communities by Don Tierney would like to congratulate all high school football teams that made it to state. Whether you're looking for country estates, top-notch park amenities, natural views, or community right in town, you're sure to find the perfect fit with Livable Communities by Don Tierney. Floor noises, pops, or rattles coming from your furnace? Call Fowler for a free estimate and next day installation on a quality furnace that's quiet, saves you money, and backed by a five-year guarantee. Call Fowler Heating and Air today. Cooler heat, Fowler can't be beat. A stunned Wanaki team. They rolled the dice. You know every player on that sideline agreed with their head coach, Pat Rice to go for two, to go for the win. They came up short. This then turns out to be our Wisconsin DOT play of the game. Brought to you by the Wisconsin DOT. Doyle in for six with the PAT to make it a seven point lead. That is your game winner, Bill. J.P. Doyle ran the offense about as efficiently as you can run an option. Ran for 118 yards, threw for a score, ran for that one. He had a lot of help. O'Grady with 171 yards rushing. Nottestead with 198 yards rushing. One touchdown reception. One rushing touchdown. Record-setting rushing performance. And Wanaki played so hard, so well. But they come up short. Pat O'Grady, or Pat Rice, the Hall of Fame coach. Won 89% of his games in his 32-year career. He decided to go for the win. Came up short. And Badger is the recipient of their first-ever state title in a classic Division II title. Matt Hensler, he said, we've got mature seniors, and you saw them all on the big stage. They're a great moral compass on and off the football field. They really love football. Can you tell? And how much love for their coach. Who gets to do this? A hard fought and well earned state championship for Lake Geneva Badger. 28 27, the final in Division Two. Now, a message from your local station. This is your WIAA network affiliate. Livable Communities by Don Tierney would like to congratulate all high school football teams that made it to state. Whether you're looking for country estates, top-notch park amenities, natural views, or community right in town, you're sure to find the perfect fit with Livable Communities by Don Tierney. Having trouble getting car insurance because of your driving record, no current insurance, or have an OWI? Need an SR-22? Call Locally Owned Compliance Insurance. Auto insurance for all drivers. Visit us online or call Compliance Insurance today and drive today. Shop Dwelling's Fall Furniture Clearance Sale and save up to 70%. Over 300 pieces in stock and ready for delivery. Shop and save today and enjoy your new Dwelling's Furniture tomorrow. Dwelling's. Still Madison's best kept $150 secret. It's tire season at D Car in Wanakee. All tires purchased come with free lifetime rotation, road hazard, and alignment check. David's Certified Auto Repairs, your full auto repair facility. Winter is coming. Call or schedule your appointment online with D Car and be driving on new tires tomorrow. The holidays are coming, and there's no better time to update your flooring. From luxury vinyl and tile to laminate, hardwood, carpet, and stone, Floors for Less will give you a free consultation and $200 off your next flooring project through the end of the year. Don't pay more for your quality floor. Shop Floors for Less today.
At Muir Roofing Construction, 99% of our residential roofs are done in a day and come with a lifetime shingle warranty as well as a 15-year craftsmanship warranty. Call me, Jim Muir, for roofing, siding, and gutters. And remember, as always, we do it right at any height. State champions of Division II, their first ever appearance in this game, and they take home the gold ball. Look at that reaction. <laughs> These players are having a great time, and what a game this was, an instant classic. Wanakee, they go down, they score the touchdown, and have the chance to either tie or go for the win. They go for the win, and I don't think anybody was mad about that decision. They came up just a little bit short, and they end up losing 35 or 34 to 33 excuse me yeah. all right let's hear from those victorious badgers for that we're going to send it over to carly Murat. yeah thanks so much brad standing by with landon what a game it was an offensive showdown but it came down to your defense with that huge stand on that two-point conversion what did it take from your defense there all year they've been shutting people down and we've been um Discounted. We haven't gotten our credit all year. Uh, we came into this game. Nothing else was different. Uh, they said that the Wanaki fierce offense was not going to be able to, or the defense, our defense wouldn't be able to hold their fierce offense. Uh, yet again, we proved them wrong. Uh, it's all thanks to that D-line and O-line just absolutely dominating the trenches. Over 450 rushing yards, a new Division II state record for team rushing yards. How was your offense able to wear down this defense today? So it basically all comes down to the basics. We have an amazing coach, Coach Hens. He's coached for over 20 years. Uh, we run the triple option, which is a dying offense, but in Lake Geneva, it's very much so alive. Uh, we can't, we went down to our basic reads and stuff. The holes opened up. Those big offensive linemen absolutely paved the way for me to just, and, and all the other running backs to just run through holes as 40 yards wide. First ever state title for Badger. How do you describe how you feel? I, I was flooded with emotions uh, all year. You know, everybody talks about, uh, do we have enough? We do have enough. Let's go to state. Let's mess around and win state. And and we're here. And, and we did. And we were projected to lose round two, round three, round four in state. And every single one of those teams we beat. All right. Congratulations on making history. Thank you so much. Brad, back to you. Carly, thank you very much. Badger, Jesse, those Badger one, kids two. clearly had a chip on Jesse, their shoulder. One, they leave two. Camp Randall with a chip, a championship. And that does it for this Division II final. One more championship to go. Our D1 final set to kick off here at 4 o'clock. Marquettes and Franklin. We sure hope you'll join us then. For now, this has been a uh, presentation of the WIAA Sports Network. Menards. Save big money at Menards on all your home improvement needs. Dairy Farmers of Wisconsin, reminding you to look for the proudly Wisconsin badge to know you're getting the best quality and supporting local dairy farms. The Wisconsin Department of Transportation, zero in Wisconsin. Together we can save lives. Rural Mutual Insurance Company. Premiums paid here stay here to keep Wisconsin strong. A proud sponsor of the WIAA Rural Mutual Sportsmanship Award for over 50 years. And we act. We teach. We inspire. Unauthorized use or rebroadcast of this program and live internet stream without the express written consent of Allen Media Group, Wisconsin Broadcast Division, is strictly prohibited and a violation of U.S. copyright law. We now join your regularly scheduled programming already in progress. Narrow is no good. That's why I wear new wide fit hands free Skechers slip ins. You just step in and go with no bending down. Try new wide fit Skechers slip ins. Get out of the way! A menacing wave enveloping the Oregon coast could be a warning of an approaching mega tsunami. Whoa, that was scary. 
However, when geologist Paul Byrne reanalyzes the footage, he spots a flaw with this theory. One of the telltale signs of a tsunami incoming is suddenly the water level drops and a bunch of fish get exposed. We don't see that in this video, which tells us this probably isn't a tsunami. Other experts are struck by the unusual speed of the wave. What's clear is this wave takes everybody by surprise. The beach crowd go from relaxed to blind panic in a beat. The sheer unexpectedness lends itself to another phenomenon of the ocean, the rogue wave. Rogue waves are defined as being more than twice the size of the one surrounding them. They can reach the height of an eight-story building. But how they form remains a mystery. Rogue waves are contentious because they fly in the face of how waves typically work, with waves being in a relatively modest range of sizes with a few outliers just outside. Reports of rogue waves date back centuries and may account for the mysterious disappearance of countless vessels and their crews. But for many years, physical evidence of their existence remained elusive. That skepticism evaporates on New Year's Day 1995, when a towering wave strikes the Drapner oil rig off Norway's coast. The Drapner is